centuries ago, Japan was unified under the Tokugawa Shogunate. It closed its doors to the rest of the world, and for a time, the island nation prospered. <laughs> Yet despite its apparent tranquility, conflict brewed beneath the surface. Feudal lords known as daimyo were kept under strict surveillance. In public, they were loyal. But the coals of discontent were slowly being fanned towards conflagration. Deep in the mountains of Kurosu, weapons were secretly forged in preparation for rebellion. But the Shogun's forces got wind of the plan, and took terrible and bloody reprisals. the Veiled Edge. Skilled in both subterfuge and the way of the sword, these nameless assassins were unmatched in their abilities. Under the tutelage of a master, the Blades, they honed their skills in pairs called Blade Twins. together by the bonds of fate. Follow me. Training or not, I won't pull my punches. <laughs> Begin. Cross swords and show me all you've learned. I'll get the better of you this time. <laughs> did well. Next, you will fight me. I will face the world of you. Training for now. 
I'm assigning you a new mission. The black ships from America are anchored off the coast at Yokohama. Sneak aboard and steal the secret message in Commodore Perry's possession. And if the opportunity arises, kill Perry. Understood? A response worthy of the Veiled Edge. This is the day our clan has long prepared for, when we finally go to war with the Tokugawa. This is an order. Failure is not an option. Are you ready to head for the black ships? Good. I know you will not let me down. Now move. We leave the boat here. Let's begin. It's eluded all others, but my vision is clear, and my harpoon ready. Ugh! <laughs> 
Time to finish him off! I'm afraid I can't let you kill him. That was the only trace that remained. <laughs> the two of us are one. Don't forget this. your help. Kaku! Kisa! The Shogunate has found us. There's no end to them. Kaku! They simply slaughter any who dare to earn this thing. Tell the Shogunate to know how. Abandon the clan and search for them. They are still alive. I have. To... Have you forgotten the code? of the clan are marked for death. It is an over. Come now! Have you got the food of the state? Sorry, 
think I survived this long. What's wrong? I did not train you to hesitate. <laughs> Same ever since I took you in. Since I lost my play twin, I've had to live with the pain of surviving. Go! Succeed where I have failed. You're a traveler, I take it. If I were you, I'd avoid the village beyond here. Bandits have moved in and made it their den. I came all this way to peddle my wares, but it's left me in a bind. The checkpoint's just up the road, too. How on earth did they let this happen? If you're determined to go, then take this with you. It should serve to distract the bandits, at least. Wait a moment. No one gets through here without a permit. What the hell are you doing? None other than Lord E is in your grammar, and security could not be tighter. 
Stop this nonsense or I will cut you down. I don't have a time to be associating with the likes of you. Go ask around at the local village. <laughs> Thank you. You saved my life. I thought I was about to meet my maker. Bandits! They attacked our village with no warning. Bastards. But now, everyone else is back, thanks to you. We are in proper shape to rebuild the village. I wish to repay you for saving our village. You will find all their loot stashed in the cave at the top of the hill. If you're heading that way, you might find a little something that could be handy. What do you say? I presume you are probably struggling to get through that checkpoint. It is likely you will find a permit there. If you need a travel permit, you'd be wise to hurry. You are not the only Ronin after one. Someone just doesn't know when to quit. <sighs> it seems you might also have a story to tell. I know. Tag along with me, will you? This way! This way! <laughs> Come on! Exit must be this way. I can feel a breeze. My pistol's quite something, isn't it? A friend who went to Shanghai gave it to me. The world's turned upside down since the black ships arrived. Who knows what will become of the samurai? If we don't embrace the best parts of the West, we'll be left behind. What did I tell you? It's the exit. Stick with me and you'll be all right. I was in that cave looking for a permit when they attacked out of nowhere. I know I technically left my clan, but did they have to chase me all the way from Tulsa? Being a Ronin can be liberating, but I wonder if it's worth the trouble. I can't believe you got attacked in there, too! I've got a feeling that old codger might have fooled us. Well, that's the way of the world. 
folks would stab their own mothers in the back if it let them survive another day. If somebody doesn't do something, this country is done for. But hey, I noticed your swordsmanship. Ah, there it is. This is the place I wanted to take you. So, you're on your way to Yokohama too? Well, good luck if you don't have a permit. If you're after one, I might know someone who's got some. The head of the gang of rogues that's occupying the local magistrate's house. They've been busy stealing everything that's not nailed down. He'll have some of his thugs guarding him, I bet. But you look like you can handle yourself. So, how about it? Want to go and purloin some permits? <laughs> That's the spirit. I knew you had a bit of fight in you. It's a big place. I wonder where their leaders hold up. That I've come here if you were after something, right? So, what is it? Judging by your appearance, I say you lack money. Or a good sword, perhaps. Come on! There must be something, right? I know! I've got the key to our storehouse! Everything we managed to loot and pillage is in there! Take anything you want! There's this contraption we picked up somewhere. I have no idea what it is, but I bet it's valuable! No, it's true, I swear! Oh, thank you! I'll never forget this. Well, if you don't mind, I think I'll go. <laughs> I can't believe you let their boss live. And you trusted him. <laughs> You're a soft touch. Well, as long as we can find those permits. You've got the key to their storehouse, right? Well, let's head there. I've got an idea where it might be. Come on, follow me. They must be sitting on all sorts of ill-gotten gains. And if I'm right, those permits will be among them.
So you found some permits, did you? Could you spare one for me? This isn't a mere piece of paper to get me past a checkpoint. No. This is the ticket to a brighter future for this whole country. It's a future I'm going to help forge. You know, I have a feeling I haven't seen the last of you. Maybe we can meet up in Yokohama. There's a clock tower there, in the western style. Meet me there. Ask around if you can't find me. Where's Ryoma Sakamoto? You'll make it work. Well, see you around. The black ships return, seeking the prize of a commercial treaty between America and Japan. With the city in tumult, the figures who will shape Japan's future gather in Yokohama. made it, did you? Hmm. It's been pretty lively here, ever since the black ships arrived and the port opened up. So, what brought you to Yokohama anyway? Well, what do you know? I'm looking for someone too, and no regular person, let me tell you. I've come to pay showing Yoshida a visit. You must have heard the name. He's a great master whose gaze is fixed firmly on the future. He sees what we could be a century from now, 
and knows how to achieve it. The truth is, we studied under the same master. But now he has students of his own. You should meet him. He and his students should already be here in the city. They're an interesting bunch, believe me. <laughs> hey, did no one ever teach you to walk straight? Why, thank you, sir. That was very kind of you. My name is Takamurayama. I'm a geisha in the Pleasure District. It would be wonderful if the two of you could pay me a visit. Oh, it would be our pleasure, truly. Uh, we were just discussing heading that way. <clears throat> what marvelous timing. See you soon! Great! Now, come along with me. This calls for a little celebration in the most fun part of town. Come on, the Pleasure District's the best place for gossip. You'll hear all kinds of rumors. And besides, you saw that woman just now, right? There are sights to see in Yokohama. You serve the Red Demon. You're supposed to be getting rid of the foreigners. Enough! Walker, Any more of that nonsense, and you're in serious trouble. Things are getting pretty tense around here. The Red Demon's been busy cracking down on the anti-Shogunate faction. What do people think Blind Panic's going to achieve? They should be spending their time thinking about how we can forge Japan's future. Ah, I think that's where we're headed. That looks like the Pleasure District to me. We're here. Ah, could it be? You must be the samurai Taka spoke about. We've been expecting you. Haha, <laughs> that's us. How could you tell? She said you were very dashing, and that you looked good in leather footwear. I knew it was you straight away. You're clearly very discerning. You'll make a fine geisha. <laughs> My name is Kichi. Kichi Saito. Allow me to welcome you to the Pleasure District. Oh, before I forget, while you are here, it is strictly forbidden to be uncouth or to unsheath. You must refrain from any behavior that might stop other guests from enjoying themselves. Please, do not spoil the evening for anyone. I simply mean that you mustn't draw the sword that hangs at your hip. Our guests tend to quarrel about the objects of their desires. I'm sure you can guess what might ensue if the usage of weapons was permitted. Now, if you would kindly follow me. This way, please. So this is the Pleasure District. We're here at last, my friend. My, my, what a place. Definitely a tale or two to be had here, I reckon. The district was only built after the black ships arrived. All kinds of clients come here. Think of this as a place where foreigners and samurai can mingle freely. By the way, did you know that Taka is our most accomplished geisha? It is very rare for her to grant anyone an audience so quickly. You two are very lucky indeed. Please wait in here. Taka will join you in due course. Ah. Won't you have some more? Oh, 
Thank you, my dear. <laughs> this is quite the place. Aren't you glad we came? Pardon the intrusion. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Please, allow me to attend to you. Ooh, ooh. Now, I have a feeling that this may well be your first time in the Miyazaki district. <coughs> yes, that's right. This is a place of many pleasures. Enjoy, and leave the real world behind. So it turns out I saw a familiar face on the way in. <sighs> I'd better go and say hello. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is a most delightful gentleman. Did you come to Yokohama together? Oh, is that so? You seemed thick as thieves, so I just assumed. May I ask, what brought you to the city? You're not the only one. He is somewhere in the city, it seems, but nobody can find him. Perhaps we will find out soon. Goodness, that's rather forward. But I must confess, I'm rather flattered by your attention. Well, I can't be certain, but I have heard rumors of a certain samurai who came aboard the black ship. Working here, I hear all sorts of things, you know. But before I say more, I have a little favor to ask. I want you to take photographs of the Pleasure District with one of those fancy new cameras. They say a photograph shows things precisely as they are. Well, I want this place to be captured for posterity. Do that for me, and I will tell you about the samurai who came aboard the black ship. Oh, I forgot to mention, to get a camera, you'll need to go to the photographic studio. I know, you won't let me down. So you're done for the night, are you? <laughs> I did. Unfortunately, he has no clue where Master Showin might be either. This is a place where people know things, but tonight I got nothing. How about you? Have fun? Well, I'm glad I brought you then. Oh, by the way, my night wasn't a total loss. Turns out I know the person who owns the longhouse nearby. Even Ronin like you need a place to sleep, right? I'll head over and procure a room. Come check it out later, won't you? It's a little rundown, but pretty spacious inside. 
You can keep a change of clothes or anything you'd like here. I hope you'll find it useful. You know, it's not bad relaxing together like this. Right, let's go. Pretty handy, right? You can use it how you like. I'll pop in every now and then. From now on, I'll tell everyone that this is where we're staying. <laughs> that should make things a little livelier. Well, that's it for you and me tonight. But I'm going to keep searching for leads on Master Showin's location. Come on, no need to get all polite. Think nothing of it. I know you've got my back, too. Ah, oh, wait a second. I wanted to give you this. It's a pocket watch. Now you can check the time anytime. Hope you don't mind that it's slightly used. I think you'll still find it handy. Well, see you around. We've heard reports you're making very dubious items in there. Oh, are you? What are you doing here? You look shady to me. Out with it! Who are you? We're under strict orders from Lord E to arrest anyone suspicious. <gasps> You're out of line! It's time to teach you a lesson! Thanks. That was a big help. I owe you. Those nitwits. They think cameras are some kind of weapon. I'd like to give you a demonstration. But I'm afraid my camera is broken. It means I can't earn a living. How is it, Igashichi? Got it working again? I'm afraid not. Without the schematic, I'm at the end of my rope. Ugh, curse those dumped thieves. Are you serious? This isn't good. Those thags have no idea of the value of what they've stolen. But I can hardly just go and ask for them back. Uh, wait. Is that my glider prototype you have there? You managed to get it back from those thieves. Most impressive. Could it work? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it might. I can see it all in my head, the perfect plan. I need those schematics back. And if you help me, I'll give you a camera. Sound good? A clear and rational response. You must have the inventor's spirit. Those thieves have a base in the Mitre Castle ruins. But we can't just stroll straight in. Head to the Temple Hall nearby. Oh, dear! <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igashichi Izuka. Back home in Hitachi, I'm known as Igashichi the Tinkerer. Well, I shall see you there. Dear me, this seems he's fired up once again. Well, please do what you can to help him.
Over here, my friend! Over here! Ah, oh, there you are! Now, listen up. Here's the plan. Those bandits are holed up in the castle. If we march straight up to the front door, it will be suicide. Luckily, we can use my prototype to glide in from here. Once you are in there, you simply need to retrieve my blueprints. Shall we get started? Are you ready to take to the skies? Marvelous! Now just relax. I've never tested it, but the science behind it is impeccable. I'm afraid I can't come to your aid if you are apprehended, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Best of luck. Time for me to shine, eh? Over here. So you were spotted by the bandits, but still managed to prevail. Magnificent! I saw those wretches fleeing for their lives. Oh, my blueprints! Thank you! I was worried that those delinquents might have disposed of them. Now I'll finally be able to show the studio now what I can do. Here's the prototype I promised you. Take it. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you use it, you hear? Your bank to sound all around you. Now, I believe there's an elevated area in these grounds. Why not try taking a picture from there? Follow me. This way, follow me. This used to be a fine castle where the Lords of Kira resided. But his best days are now behind it. Come on! Over here. Very well. It's time to give that camera a go. Don't be shy. Ah! I know! The temple hall where we met is the perfect spot for a photograph. I'm glad to see you like my camera. Impressive, no? And this is just the beginning. There are so many improvements I want to make. Ah, speaking of which... I must go. I have a camera I need to fix. <laughs> the fellow who runs that place has a temper, you see. Anyway, I'll be in Yokohama for a while. It's the place to be for anyone keen to learn more about foreign ideas and inventions. Remember, it's not just cameras I double in. If ever I can assist you in some way, just let me know. Wonderful! I would be delighted to help. And I have a feeling you will put my devices to good use. I'm lodging in the photographic studio in Yokohama for the time being. Feel free to come and see me anytime. There are all sorts of improvements I want to make to that camera. So don't be a stranger, you hear? Please, this way. Well, I see you've acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me.
Then I shall direct you to a number of rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs. Are you serious? You'll be seeing him again. I don't care about his clown. How important he is. <laughs> oh dear. Jealous, are you? You don't have to worry. We were just talking. I promise. My mistress paid me to speak to him. Is that right? Well, if you say so. You know, I'm crazy about you, remember? Oh, that makes me so happy. But we must wait until my contract here ends. Yes, and uh, we can go to Edo together. Look, I'll have some money very soon. Then I'll pay up and you and me can... You know. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. But how did you get the money? Well, <laughs> I've been selling some goods that this country is very short of. Next week, my ship will bring more supplies, then I will be set. But remember, you're not my only client. I cannot simply abandon them, you know? Sure, you'll need a week or so to tie up loose ends. <sighs> Wait, I know. Why don't you sail back with me? What? You would take me to France? <sighs> that doesn't sound bad. Right? <laughs> ah, I can't wait to see the look on my mother's face. Here. It's something like this. Mm. You have the good. But there seem to be more than usual. Well, I've built up a stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Mm. Hey, <laughs> this isn't good. If I get caught with all this, I'm in real trouble. Oh, don't be like that. Uh. Times are hard. You need all the money you can get, right? Mm. Oh. Look, I, I don't know about this. Mm. It's fine. Just take all you can get. Uh, are you sure this is all right? It's fine, but just be careful. You don't want to end up getting shot by your own merchandise. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't worry about me. Nice doing business with you. Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Well, when I met him earlier, he stared at me quite frightfully. But please, forget I said anything. Mm. 
Just make sure he doesn't notice you. I don't really know what else we can do about it. going to get that house? If you have any ideas, speak up. The consulate is very well guarded. We can't attack from the front. Well, how about a diversion? We start a scuffle at the front, then sneak in from the side. But we are short of men. If we could join forces with the other clans, then maybe. Did you get your picture? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Who are you? Hmm. Come to the garden now. Hmm. Hmm. Admit it. You're a spy for the Shogunate. I'll cut you down. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. Oh. Well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? <laughs> Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? Do you know him? Oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Shoin. Katsura here is an old student, a close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Oh. Hmm? I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. <clears throat> All right. Back to the drinks. Next round on me. <laughs> I came to see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. 
When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. I cannot imagine. It certainly doesn't sound natural. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, please enjoy your time here. Oh, heading home, are you? I heard you're looking for someone who came on the black ships. Taka told me. So, did you find out anything? There you go. See, I told you this was the place to come. And there's more. I know there was that incident, but Katsura's a fellow worth knowing. He might well need your help with this and that. I recommend staying on his good side. I'll warrant his head's cleared by now, so maybe you should pay him a visit. He's staying at the Sakura Inn. Head there now and you'll catch him. I bet he can help you find whoever it is you're looking for. I'm going to keep searching for Master Shoin. Once I find him, I'll introduce you, I promise. You and I are true friends now, no doubt about it. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. Hmm. Uh, haven't we met somewhere? Hmm, not the peaceful loving type, are you? Oh, from the pleasure district. <laughs> That's right, I remember those eyes. Sorry about all that. My memory is pretty hazy. Ah. Had a few too many again, did you? Sadly, yes. And they ended up getting soundly beaten by our friend here. To be honest, I might have struggled even stone cold sober. Your skill with the sword is quite something, but you seem to be self-taught. I recommend you test your metal at a proper dojo. Ganzui here is off to do just that. And he's no slouch when it comes to his studies either. No wonder he's showing Yoshida's favorite. <laughs> This accursed city is full of outsiders acting like they own the place. Removing them from our land calls for force, not diplomacy. Now is the time to show the world the tenacity of our blades. In the name of this divine country... <sighs> there he goes again. I'm going gambling. I've been let us short on coin of late. Where are your manners, Shinsaku? Show our guests some courtesy. Want to join me? You seem like a lucky sort. I get the feeling you survived a few scrapes you shouldn't have. How are you? It may not look like it, but those two are fine, upstanding young men. I recommend you get to know them. Genzui's dojo is right here in Yokohama, and I have a good idea where Shinsoku is headed. Perhaps you might join them. Good. Have fun, won't you? Be seeing you. It may not look like it, 
but those two are fine, upstanding young men. I recommend you get to know them. Genzui's dojo is right here in Yokohama, and I have a good idea where Shinsoku is headed. Perhaps you might join them. <laughs> Did Ryoma recommend me? I see his ability to connect people still surpasses my own. Listen, I have no problem helping you out. But I'll need a little something in return. Tell me, what do you make of the state of this nation? Here we are, with the Western powers circling us as we speak. And yet, the Red Demon speaks with America and brooks no opposition. He is intent on signing a treaty, which will be a disaster for us. This is truly a critical moment for Japan. You may have no interest in such matters now, but in time, I guarantee you will. The time has come to instill a new start for this nation. That is what Master Shoin and I have sworn to accomplish. But at this critical juncture, my comrades' whereabouts are unknown. Once that treaty is signed, it will be too late. <sighs> if Sakamoto trusts you, then so will I. Our plan is to kill Harris, the American consul, and halt the negotiations. But in order to do that, we need more able warriors on our side. We would be grateful if you would see fit to join us. I have heard you are seeking the samurai who came on the black ship. Word is that they now serve as one of Harris's bodyguards. Once we attack the council, the one you seek will undoubtedly appear. This gives us common purpose, does it not? But there is no need to answer right away. If you wish to join us, meet us in front of the American consulate. I hope to see you there. How nice of you to drop by. You're here. Ah, oh, you have returned. I heard something rather interesting from Kichi. The American consulate is in a state of panic. It seems they're bracing for an attack from a group intent on taking Mr. Harris's life. A sympathetic soul must have let their tongue slip. Perhaps, in the confusion, you could seize the opportunity to close in on Mr. Harris. I am sure the bodyguard with a demon claw will appear soon enough. Well, why indeed? <laughs> I'll arrange to get you into the consulate. You'll join me there, won't you? You're here. I knew you'd come. Now, I will help you, but I have a request. I want you to find out who is threatening Mr. Harris's life, and I want to know who's in charge. So, how about it? Do we have a deal? That is a relief. Here's hoping you will find the samurai you are looking for. I'll alert you when the moment is right.
Lay a finger on me! It seems there was quite the kerfuffle in there. Are you all right? Did you manage to find out who was threatening Mr. Harris? Is that right? So it's our intimidating friend, Mr. Katsura. And did you see the samurai with the demon's claw? You almost sound like you're searching for a lost love, you know. Regardless, you proved every bit as reliable as I thought. Do come see me if you ever need my assistance. I dare say I shall have more favors to ask. In spite of Harris's close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. Please, this way. It's always a pleasure to see you. Apparently, Mr. Harris has been in hiding since the incident. As to where he is, well... Why not try asking around at the Grand Villa? It's where Westerners mingle with the high and mighty. And then there's... Well... Let's just say there might be another way. I have some contacts in the Shogunate. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements.
The Pleasure District is a crucible where the powerful mix and mingle. It is quite natural that I should know a good number of these men. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Well, either way, I really do have something to ask you. Ah, now I think about it, there was one more favor I wanted to ask. I would be delighted if you'd see fit to aid me in this matter. Whenever I get close to a certain row of abandoned houses, I feel like I'm being watched. When I turn around, no one's there. But I just know somebody's watching from some dark and lonely corner. Would you be so kind as to investigate and find out who's watching me? Thank you. What a relief. But do be careful while you're out there. Staggering about without a fear. How oh, quickly you've forgotten about Kurosu. Head shot, traitor! Damn it. But we're not done yet. A man dressed like a ninja. He appeared out of nowhere with a message. He said, We have Taka at Benden Shrine. If you want her back, the traitor must come alone. And I heard from some others in the Pleasure District that Taka had asked your guidance on a matter. Please, if you know anything about this, you must save Taka, please! Glad to see your face, even if you do look rather wretched. <laughs> well, thank you for your honesty. As I suspected then, it was your former kin who kidnapped me. No need to apologize. But, I appreciate you thinking about me. Don't tell me you thought I'd be cross. On the contrary, I'm rather glad you saved me. See? Do I look angry? Do you need a closer look? <laughs> I'm only teasing. I really am grateful, though, seeing you show up to rescue me. I thought I was dreaming. But, of course you'd come. How could you not? 
We both have certain people we could not ignore if we tried. Ah, forgive me. I seem to be rambling. Kichi must be worried. I should go see her at once. Say, it would take no time at all on that dashing steed of yours. Why don't I hop on behind you and hold you tight? Well, aren't you kind? Though you might have agreed to that a little too readily. <laughs> really, though, I'm truly grateful that you came to my rescue. That I've learned about you, I feel obligated to share something of myself. Such a pleasant breeze. Being here with you, I somehow feel as if I can let my guard down. How sad we're nearly there. Dare I hope I'm not alone in that feeling. If only we could just keep going, you and I, go somewhere. Far, far away. But, alas. Oh, Taka! It's so good to see you safe! I'm perfectly fine, Kichi. I'm sorry to have worried you. And thank you. Thank you for saving Taka. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I could count on you to help. Oh, I should mention Taka. The guest you are expecting has arrived. Ah, oh, I see. Very well. Thank you. Now, let me introduce you. Since you so boldly came to my rescue, I feel I should return the favor by revealing a secret of my own. <laughs> Once the cat's out of the bag, there's no putting it back in, you know. I'll be waiting in my room. Be sure to come by later. Do you know who I am? So you've brought me a know nothing. This is the Chief Minister, Naosuke E. The truth is, in order to assist Lord E in his affairs, I've been keeping an eye on the expulsionists who frequent the Pleasure District. I wanted you to know, but you must promise not to breathe a word of this to another soul. Lord E is a long-time acquaintance of mine. I wish to be of service to him in whatever small way I can. Hmm. Any complaints? And before you insinuate anything, Taka does this for me willingly. Yes, I did. That's enough talk about me, I should think. It's not every day you get an audience with the Chief Minister. Isn't there something you'd like to ask him? Ah, yes. I've heard stories. Stories about them collaborating with the foreigners. I'll keep my ears open, but I am a busy man and can offer no promises. I think we're done here. Try not to get in our way.
please. This way. Then, how about I share what I know of the Demon Claw Samurai in exchange for your assistance? I would like you to obtain a certain letter held by the Samurai of Mito. To do so, you will have to infiltrate their base. Once you have secured the letter, deliver it directly to me. Directly. Understood. If the Samurai give you trouble, well, I trust you will know what to do. So, do we have a deal? Ah, dependable as always. Well then, head to the Hodogaya post. One of our allies will be expecting you. So, you're the one they've got working for them. I've heard about you. You're a real charmer. Well, whatever. As long as I get paid, I don't care who you are. So, I just saw a group of samurai who looked a little on edge going to that inn. I'll bet they're the ones you are after. Most likely. They'll be taking turns to stand guard till morning. I recommend you strike at dawn. Once you have the letter, we're done here. I'll be waiting. I'm ready for action! What in the... Who the hell are you? Wretched car! I will cut you to shreds! You have done well. Now, I'll take that letter. You must be tired. Why not let me deliver the letter? I'll deliver the letter to Katsura. No! That's not right! I wanted to sell it to the one who'd pay the best price. You are not opposed to money, right? Honor and duty only get you so far. Now, come on! Give me the letter! Stubborn, aren't you? Bow, well, whatever. But just this once, you understand? Anything for an easy life. You're here. Oh, back so soon, are you? You certainly live up to my expectations. Do you have the letter? Ah, 
Yes, that is the very one. You have my gratitude. Did you run into any trouble? I'd expect nothing less from you. My benefactor will be pleased. Thank you. <laughs> Give it back. That is not yours to take. Do you really mean to defy the Imperial Court? <clears throat> You'll be dealt with soon enough. Fear not. Fools, are they blind? Our swords and spears are no match for their cannons. Chief Minister Yi removed all trace of the Imperial Edict to expel the foreigners. So began his ruthless campaign to suppress the anti-Shogunate forces. Let me die in spring, under the blossoming trees. Mm -hmm. And who might you be? My name is Yukichi Fukuzawa. I am a samurai from Nakatsu. I am working for the shogunate while I complete my studies. And this here is Ernest Sato. He's a British interpreter. Pleased to meet you. Fukuzawa-san was just teaching me more of his marvelous language. Oh, I fear I have very little left to teach you. It is I whose language skills are lacking. I must learn English. Tell me, what brings you here? Of course, but keep it brief. The American Consul General, Harris. Well... Hold on one minute. What do you want with him? His life was threatened just the other day, you know. I'm certainly not going to lead a perfect stranger directly to his door. Why, just look at you. You might very well be an assassin. Hmm. I won't pretend to understand your motivations. Fukuzawa-san, you were keen to meet with the Consul, are you not? Perhaps this individual could come with. Even if they are an assassin, they couldn't do much if you were there. You are a master martial swordsman, after all. Very well. I'm not convinced, but I will do as you wish. The Consul is in a temple near the Kanagawa post. Fukuzawa-san will show you precisely where. Hold on! Do you not intend to accompany us? Attacks on foreigners in that particular area are on the rise. I will remain here. You should have no trouble, however. Hmm. Well, I suppose you're right. I'll go ahead and see how things are looking. Meet me at the Kanagawa post. Over here! We must be careful. This place is more dangerous than I thought. I was informed that the consul was in Hongakuji Temple, but as far as I can tell, it is now in the hands of expulsionist forces. I found no trace of Harris himself. Where could he be?
When the Americans first arrived, they transformed the temple into their first consulate. And so began the whispers that the cholera epidemic could be traced back to this town. Needless to say, these are entirely groundless rumors. Agreed. It would be a tragedy if anything were to happen to him. Let's get moving. Over here. The temple of Hongakuji was built approximately 600 years ago. However, the Americans have essentially repurposed it ever since we opened our doors to them. Whether it's outbreaks of cholera or more attacks by those who wish to drive out the foreigners. Truly, this has been far from a happy place of late. Corpse appears to have been a local resident. Can the anti foreign forces really be targeting their own countrymen? It is one thing to hate the West, but this is wanton violence. Why are those wretches so utterly repulsed by the unfamiliar? I'm afraid I must conclude that reason and understanding are far more present in Western society than in our own homeland. Now, if the consuls truly managed to flee the temple, he's probably still somewhere in this vicinity, don't you think? Doubtless, he is being pursued by expulsionist samurai, though killing him would serve little purpose at this stage. Either way, we must find where the consul is hiding. Very good. Now, I have no doubt that his pursuers will be in an agitated state. Let's have a good nose around and see if we can't find any clues as to Consul Harris's location. the concept. First we must put his way. But I will not allow you to lay a finger on him. Wait a second. You're Jules Brunet, the French officer. It's me, Yukichi Fukuzawa. Ah. I remember. We met at the Grand Villa. But what are you doing here? Mr. Sato asked me to come here to speak to the consul. Is he to be found here? Fear not. Consul, they are friends. I thank you, good sir. <laughs> Where would I be without the French? What in the world? How are you still alive? I've had just about enough of your harassment. Why would I believe that? Look. I don't know who hired you, but I guarantee I can pay double. 
Oh, you mean that other bodyguard that couldn't kill you? <sighs> I suppose I did see the two of you having a chat. How about this? You take care of some scoundrels for me, and I'll tell you what I know about them. We were attacked by a band of thugs and forced to flee the temple. Until they are dealt with, we are stuck here. There is no sense in fighting every last one of them. I propose that I join you and Fukuzawa and that we hunt down their leader. With him out of the picture, his underlings will melt away. They are little more than a rabble. And if nothing happens to me, I'll tell you everything I know about the samurai from the consulate. So, have we a deal? Great. Now, to avoid attracting attention, let's leave one at a time. We'll regroup on the hill overlooking the temple. I just saw a most unsettling looking man entering the main hall. I am certain he is their leader. Well, are you all set to enter the temple? Good. Then we shall proceed under cover of darkness. They may be a disorderly lot. But there is strength in numbers. It's done. Working with the outsiders. Irrelevant. The issue isn't about if they're good or bad. Haven't you heard? The first American consulate was in this village, along with the outbreak of cholera. We should never have had dealings with foreigners. It endangers us all. This is a belief I am willing to fight for. The mob has obeyed their leader's order and dispersed. Our plan worked. Very well then. About my curious bodyguard. They were captured in Yokohama by Commodore Perry some years ago. They were taken back to the United States and held in custody. We were... Deeply relieved when we realized they wanted to cooperate. How the hell should I know? I just hired them to protect me. However, I did hear a great deal about Japan on our voyage over. Working for me was their idea. I'm not such an imbecile to try to strong-arm them. And thanks to that, we were able to conclude the Commerce Treaty. But then they up and vanished. Well, 
That sums up what I know. Any questions? Ah, that mechanical arm was made in the United States. It can fire shells and steel wire. Quite the device, I must say. Well, it was the very day after we signed the treaty. Didn't even bother to collect their pay. Come to think of it, I heard the British might have also requested their services. Now, that will be all for the moment. Should you need to know any more, save it for another day. Fukuzawa, I am going to escort the Consul General to a safe location. Once things settle down, we'll make contact via the Grand Villa. I think we made a good connection there. I look forward to learning more about the United States. I plan to continue my education there one day. Showing Yoshida could not realize his dream, but I fully intend to make it happen. I most certainly do. It's just such a shame. Showing Yoshida is wanted for conspiracy against the Shogun. But by now I imagine he has already been apprehended. Now I shall take my leave. Until next time. So, how do you plead? Have I not made myself clear? The Shogunate serves a purpose no longer. That is why I urge our people to rise decisively as one. It is they who must build this nation anew. What can the people possibly do? They must stand behind the Shogunate, or we all fall to the foreigners. You wish to keep our country safe? Then the people must fall in line. So this is the nation you want. A land of purges and repression. Your insolence and insubordination are unforgivable. You must be punished by execution. Take him away! <coughs> 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 Thank goodness you're here. There's awful news. The Red Demon sent his master showing to death. I just heard about it too. This is Fumi, Master Showing's younger sister. An official told her they're planning to execute her brother soon. Please, help me save my brother. If we don't, he'll... We cannot allow this to happen. We need to muster the troops and get Kasura to come up with some kind of plan. But first, we need to let Shinzaku and your husband know what's happening. They've been keeping their distance from Katsura, it seems. I'm talking about Genzoi. Fumi is married to him. The problem is finding Shinzaku. Who knows where he's loitering? I'd say there's a good chance he's in Chinatown. I'll go and look for him there, if you wouldn't mind searching for my husband. I'm not sure it's safe for Fumi to go alone. Shinzaku's associating with some unsavory sorts, I hear. <laughs> go after her and help her find Shinzaku. Leave Kensui to me. I'm counting on you.
I dread to think what might have happened. I heard there was someone who sounded like Shinsako in the area. But then those thugs just surrounded me. Now, I think you're likely to find Shinsako up ahead. But I've heard he's been rather unruly of late. I thought me being there might make him less likely to act up. But I fear I will just be a burden to you. Will you go to Shinsoku in my stead? Thank you so much. Please, be careful. I'll be waiting at the Sakura Inn. Have you had enough fun? <laughs> well, I'm impressed. I guess you got more than just luck on your side. I've been putting together my militia. Isn't this the perfect place? The authorities won't suspect a thing. You came all this way to tell me that. And he's to be executed, right? That's not news to me. But are you sure you want to share that news with your enemies? I mean, you are working for the Shogunate, aren't you? That's not something I can overlook. But what does that matter in the end? It would be a waste to kill you now. We are not done with each other, I'm afraid. So, Katsura and the others at the Sakura Inn, I'm sure. Come join us there. I'll buy you a drink. So you managed to round up Shinsaku? <gasps> I knew you could do it! My husband arrived just a moment ago. I'm so relieved. Katsura should join us very soon. He's finding out all he can about my brother's situation. Once everyone's here, we'll come up with a plan to save Master Shoin. I'm sure you'll have some ideas. Understood. Just make sure you're back before Katsura gets here. Ah! Shinsaku seemed like he had more to discuss with you. Sounds like it could be interesting. Once everyone's here, we'll come up with a plan to save Master Shoin. I'm sure you'll have some ideas. That's what I want to hear. Master Shoin is set to be executed soon. I've heard from several of my sources, and believe it to be true. I want everyone's ideas on what we should do. The prison walls are unshakable. But what of the people inside? What do you mean? What are you getting at? 
Some of the girls are persuadable. We can use the Kihetai to bring a few of them over to our side. Shinsaku, our priority is saving Master Shoin's life. We simply don't have time for such games. Do you have any better ideas? Those pathetic officials are nothing to fear. I say we march in from the front. Genius plan, number one student. Will you two give it a rest? Roma, do you have any thoughts? Indeed I do. There's a watchtower right by the prison. We could just climb it, then go swoosh right in. Hmm. How does one swoosh exactly? What? You don't know how to swoosh? You know, have a swoop or take a glide. What do you think? Perhaps you can offer us an impartial opinion. You see? Slow and steady wins that ace. That's the way to go. Very well. We will do as you suggest. All right then. Everyone, prepare yourselves. I've spoken to my men. And apparently, there's a guard in the prison who's sick to the back teeth of his job. If we offer to take over, he sounds like he will be amenable. Huh. And you would rather we just left Master Shoin to die? I can't allow that. Now that's as much as I can implore my men. Too much commotion might cause the red demon to get wind of our plans. I need you to take over from here. Go and speak to that guard. What? What do you want? <sighs> I'm busy. Get out of here. Ah, oh, so it's you. I'm up to speed. Well, since you're here, surely it means you'll help me out too, then. There are two crooks I'm after, but they're quite slippery. I can't get my hands on them, but maybe you can. If you take them out for me, I'll get you into prison. I'll even throw something extra on top. Is that so? Well, too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. You won't look good going back empty-handed either. If you take them out for me, I'll get you into prison. I'll even throw something extra on top. Had a bit of a run-in with the Kihetai at the gambling den. That's when I spoke to him. Now you're speaking my language. Oh. And I'll appreciate you keeping the errand to yourself. Can't help you if I get executed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Wait. You took care of both of them? Great work. Well done. I wouldn't expect any less from one of Takasugi's associates. Come back and check the moat outside tonight. I'll leave a route in unlocked for you, but that's all the help I can give. Right. If you finish your business here, you'd better be on your way. Good luck! Sorry to interrupt. I was so worried about my brother. I had to come. I haven't seen anyone coming or going. That means... He is still in there. How did Shinsaku's plan work out? Was that god amenable? That's great! I shall pray for your safe return. Have you spoken to my husband? Genzui is liable to rush in there by himself at the last moment. If we wait too long, the sentence will be carried out and all will be in vain. Please, do all you can to save my brother. Told you. These luckies would do anything for an easy life. Apparently, he tried to board one of the oh. black ships. Really? There's some old folk out there. What was he thinking? Shoin Yoshida, the new arrival? He was here, but they took him off somewhere. It seems the guards had it in for him. If I could just swipe that key, I could rent myself out. But the guards won't budge from where they're stationed. What's that? Oh. They're in a building on the other side of the grounds. You don't look like a god. Ah, if it isn't Shinsaku. I expect you have risked your life to be here, but I am afraid you must leave.
Is that so? I am grateful, but... It matters not. I cannot leave this place. I have done nothing wrong, you see. Were I to escape, it would be an admission of my guilt. What then? Do you simply plan to rot here? If death should grant one immortality, then death is the way forward. If life should grant greater opportunity, then life is the way forward. I have long lived by these words. And now it is time to die by them. The people must rise and demand revolution. How else can change endure? It is within any individual's power to envision our future and shape it. All they need do is discover their purpose, and my death just might help them decide. Do you see now? Death is my final task. But I have one request. Give this to Fumi. Thank you. I am counting on you. If only we had met in a different place and time. refused to leave his cell. I had a feeling he might have decided to sacrifice himself. It is very like him. About me? Even when imprisoned, he worries for others. This is my brother's last will and testament. I must give it to Katsura without delay. He will broadcast these words far and wide. I have no doubt. Yes, I brought a fresh kimono for my brother. Please take it. As a token of my gratitude. Right. Let's part ways for now. We'll hold off any guards who try to give chase. We'll regroup in the Sakura Inn. Look after Fumi, you hear? I must take my brother's letter to the Sakura Inn. What kept you? We've been waiting for ages. Damn it! Curse those shogunate dogs! You were supposed to protect her! It 
seems a plan to split up and avoid attention has backfired. If they'd wanted to kill you, they would have. But here you are. Did they say anything? Meaning if you'd put up a fight, they would have killed Fumi. No wonder they call him the Blue Demon. Master Shoin is being transported to the execution grounds in Edo. Most likely Fumi will be in Edo too. We won't achieve anything standing around here. We must go to Edo without delay. What are you going to do? Honestly, I'd really like if you were to join us in Edo. What do you think? Good to hear. Let's do this! saw it too, right? He stayed true to himself. Right to the bitter end. He was ready for his fate, faced it head on. We could stand to be more like him. This is no time to sit around weeping. Katsura, Shinsaku, Genzoi. His actions have inspired them all, and many more besides. By dying, Master Shoin passed something onto us. What exactly that is, well, I can't say for sure. All I know is that I have to do all I can to forge a new Japan. Now, let's go and join Katsura and the others. Seems they're lying low in the remains of Sai Hoji Temple. You'll have to be careful. Edo is the Shogunate's stronghold. The Red Demon has eyes everywhere, so we can't move in plain sight. Katsura and the others will have a hard time searching for Fumi. There's little enough to go by without the added hindrance. With Master Shoin gone, this might spell the end for them. Truth be told, I was counting on Master Shoin to be here. I thought that with him, our country really stood a chance. But now I see that leaving my fate in someone else's hands is foolish. My future begins and ends with me. 
Your time has come. Rise as one. I will take Master Shoin's last words with me as long as I live. What a terrible sight. So many struck down by cholera. It saddens me to see Edo this way. It's a mere shadow of the bright and bustling place I once knew. We can't leave things as they are. Something must be done. Saihoji Temple is a secret meeting place for Chosho retainers. A special signal is required to enter. I'll teach it to you. Watch. This way! Hold. Those entering the temple must perform the special signal. Remember what I just taught you. Give it a go. Come on. Very well. You may pass. Ah, the rains finally let up. They say no rain lasts forever, you know. I'm guessing by that look on your face that you haven't found Fumi yet. Pardon me. Hmm? <sighs> Taka? Oh. Fumi! <gasps> You're alive! Uh, yes. Taka, helped me escape. Now there's nothing to hold us back. But I'm not sure I understand. I'm sure there is much you wish to know. But please, save your questions. There is news of great import I must convey to you at once. An uprising by the Satsuma clan is imminent. Should you join forces with them and succeed, you will surely be able to clip the Shogunate's wings. Perhaps ending this purge you once and for all. Hmm, you're right. We need to be a part of this. The Satsuma clan is every bit as powerful as the Choshu. This is a godsend. Hardly. The Satsuma are obsessed with all things Western. They cannot be trusted. Joining forces with them is folly. Listen to me, Genzui. I want you to decide. As Master Shoin's favorite student, it is you who is heir to his vision. I vow to help you in any way that I can. Your time has come. Rise as one. Master, I will listen to my heart and walk the path we believed in. Let us join the Satsuma. To correct Japan's course, we must put our petty differences aside and embrace what we share. What say you? Do I have your support? <laughs> Please come and see me later in Yoshiwara. I wish to speak to you alone.
The testament of the soul Master Shoin left us is back in our hands. You should give it a read. Everything we stand for began with Master Shoin. You might find reading his testament useful for reflecting on all that's happened. Eventually, I'll have a manuscript made so his words can reach even more people. The power of a message relies on it being conveyed, after all. So you have come. Now, it is time I told you the truth. Before we can go further, I'm afraid there is something I must yet ask of you. Would you hear me out? Ah, I understand. You feel pressed for time. My sincere apologies. I'll return to my chambers for now. Please come back. I'll be waiting. So, the issue at hand. I gather you are wondering why I betrayed Lord E. I must admit, he and I, we... He is a very important person to me. In fact, this hairpin is a gift from Lord E. But things are very different now. So much has changed, including my Lord and me. The man I once knew is now the Red Demon. And the truth is that the role he has taken on torments him. Witnessing the recent purge opened my eyes. I now know that he must be stopped. And who else can do it but me? It is as if all these years by his side have led to this moment. I let Mrs. Femi escape, though it may yet cost me my life. That was the right thing to do. Yes. I am sure of it. And now, I am suddenly terrified. I can't shake the feeling that something horrible is about to happen. What do you think I should do? Perhaps you're right. I suppose there is nothing to do but trust them. I'm feeling much better now. I must apologize for letting my emotions get the better of me. Will you join the Satsuma uprising, I wonder? I know a back street out of sight of the Shogunate. I will show you. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Let me know when you're ready to go. So you decided to join us. The Blue Demon's forces are marching on Princess Atsuko. It seems there is dissent in the Shogun's ranks. If they take custody of the Princess, the Satsuma clan will become hostages. You're the one who brought Fumi back. You have my gratitude. Now we no longer have our hands tied. Leave this to us. You should get somewhere safe. Please, take care of yourself. I'll be waiting. Now to support the Satsuma. Are you ready?
also think the way I did. How could you betray Lodi like that? I know. He was driven by his sense of duty. But he had to be stopped before he suffered even more. Come now. But in the end, it was you who were cut down. Fear not. I will stop him loyally after you once dead. Please tell my lord. Ever since the day we met in Hikone, I have been. Together, with nothing to fear. I am glad to be part of this band. We must find Princess Atsuko before the rest does. <laughs> Shogun's men are heading for that guest house. That's where the princess must be. Come on. A trick. Damn you, princess. Till we meet again. But what can you do? the stray cat would wander in. Still, you did well. You have my thanks. <laughs> Out of the way. My lady, we will soon have dealt with the vermin in the grounds. I thank you. It seems all is going according to plan. I'm afraid I must bring something to your attention. What did you say?
have news of my father, your lord. He was taken ill and has passed away. Without my father's army, we simply cannot proceed. We must lay down our arms, at least for today. But do not be disheartened. His dream will live on. Together, we will continue his legacy. Thank you once again for your efforts. It pains me, but now we can do little more than wait. I will seclude myself in my inner chambers. You have no need to fear for me. Even the chief minister would not dare come for me there. With my stepfather now gone, the Satsuma clan will be shaken to its core. Its future depends on you and Saigo. But we lack experience. And our master is gone. You know Psycho better than anyone, do you not? Compensate for each other's weaknesses and secure the clan's future. Yes, my lady. I thank you. Now, what did you say your name was? What kind of answer is that? Everyone needs a name. Isn't that right, Princess Sato? What a curious individual. I look forward to speaking with you. When things calm down. Until next time. Please forgive me, my lord. I did not foresee the stubbornness of the princess. You have been taking matters into your own hands, it seems. But at least the princess has been subdued for now. Fine work, but you are relieved of your duties for now. Go, rest. Yes, sir. You've heard about Tucker's death, I trust. <laughs> I just... can't stop thinking about it. Ever since we met in Yokohama, she's done so much for us. And we had some fun in the Pleasure District. Didn't we? But she was never just a regular geisha, was she? <sighs> she took an extraordinary risk when she helped Fumi escape. She knew the likely consequences, but still she did the right thing. <sighs> she may have looked like a flower, <laughs> but she stung like a bee. If I'm going to do anything for Japan's future, I need to show the same commitment she did. Kenzo is already working on a new plan. But I need some time to get things straight in my head. Why don't you pay a visit to Taka's grave? It's right here, in Saihoji Temple. Let us pray for her. Taka, I am afraid I cannot stay long. I must fulfill my duty. And 
Under the Shogun, I will muster the power of the nobility and imperial court, strengthen our military, and negotiate a new treaty. A fairer one that shall protect our people and our wealth. Are you lonely, dearest Taka? Well, hold on. I won't be long. And when I join you, I shall give you the most exquisite hairpin you have ever seen. It seems Gensui's latest plan is coming together. We're just waiting for everyone to get here. Ever since Gensui read Master Shoin's last words, he's been all fired up about forging a new Japan. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's gearing up to attack the Red Demon's men head on. What do you think? Can you handle the fight? Good. Then let's do this, together. We've made arrangements to that end. That's true. Hmm. You always pop up at just the right moment, don't you? <sighs> Roma, look at this. Every last one of them is here to help us strike down the Red Demon. Hmm, truly an impressive sight. Firstly, I would like to thank you all for joining us. We all come from different domains, places with separate customs, different loyalties. In fact, some of our clans once opposed each other long ago. Yet we have cast aside our differences and come together. Truly a testament to Master Shoin. That's right. We must strike in the name of all who have been oppressed. Let us not forget the pain of Master Shoin and the countless others who have suffered. We will bring this darkness to an end and deliver Divine retribution to the Red Demon! There are rumors of hostile agents lying in wait near the castle. Perhaps you might deploy more guards? I am allowed as many guards as the Shogunate provides. Do you expect the Chief Minister to flout the rules?
1860, the Red Demon was assassinated outside the Sakurada Gate of Edo Castle. They were saying the trade talks are being suspended. And you mm. just believed them, did you? You try arguing. I don't welcome the taste <laughs> of steel, personally. I... Wait, uh. who are you? of this incident, Shogunate authority plummeted as the rebellious samurai grew emboldened. The influence of the United States, which Yi had done so much to promote, waned, leaving the door open for the British to take their place. After their triumph at the Sakurada Gate, Kusaka and his allies plot the next step in their quest to expel the foreigners.
for your killer instincts. Let those beasts be. Could be a lot worse, right? It won't be easy for them to find us in here. Lots of constables on patrol tonight, too. It'd be too risky to camp outdoors. This was definitely the right choice. Thanks again. I really owe you for getting between me and E. <laughs> With luck, the Shogunate will change how they operate. Any idea what you'll do next? Personally, I'm going to talk to Katsura and see what he's up to. Ah, I should have known. You know, I seem to recall Katsura mentioning them not so long ago. Why not see if he can tell you anything useful? You should drop by the Choshu clan's villa. Well, I'll be off then. See you later. Excellent. I just arrived myself. Come on, let's head inside. It's good to see you both. Listen, the British are building their legation on Gotenyama, and our plan is to burn it down. Naturally. It's not going to be easy, so I've asked a few of our younger comrades to lend us their assistance. Our people have also been watching the comings and goings at the legation. Their reports include mention of a samurai with a peculiar hand. Must be the samurai you're looking for, right? Well, what do you say to helping us out? Marvelous. My thanks. Ryoma, would you consider joining us too? Your presence would be much appreciated. I hear the legation was a parting gift from the Red Demon. Makes it hard to ignore. So yeah, I'm along for the ride. My thanks. Now, I know I'm the one asking for your help, but I don't think I'll be able to join you. I'm in the middle of talks with the Lord of Choshu and his chief retainers. Genzui and the others have assembled near Gotenyama. Can I count on you to go? I imagine you've got things to take care of. Let's meet around Gotenyama later. Look at this place. It's more like a fortress. Indeed. 
With the Americans fading from the scene, the British are making a show of their power. When they finish that damn thing, we're in trouble. We'll never get them out. Kusaka! Hmm? Hmm? Yamagata, what took you so long? Anito, glad you could make it. <laughs> it's a terrible shame what happened to Master Shoen. <laughs> but mark my words, I will personally make sure his death wasn't in vain. Mr. Takasugi, it's been quite a while. Ito, I've got a job for you. I want you to put on a firework show. And by that you mean destroying a certain building? Exactly. Now the Red Demon's gone, the foreigners are next. Let's torch them in the cholera they brought. The smoke will rise as a beacon for our cause. Hey! Ah, there you are. Let's get started. Get a good look. These British gents desire a grand castle. They've got guts, all right. Especially their boss, Arkuk. You go with the diversionary team. Stir up some action down below and get the attention of the guards. Ito and Yamagata will start a fire while you keep them occupied. Give them a good fight, then head up to the legation yourselves. If all goes well, once we've regrouped, we go after Olcock. Are you all clear on the plan? You're quick on the uptake. Bodes well. All right, we will get into position. Be on watch to strike. No one can stop our merry band. Indeed. I'll do my best not to disappoint. Please don't get us! Over here! It's done! But Alcock is still nowhere to be found. And I hear he's got quite the bodyguard with him. Savage! Have you no concern for the wounded? again. <laughs> I'm glad you have a talent for arson. Why are you so intent on provoking the British? It saved me the trouble of provoking the British. Wait!
they will pay. I will make sure they meet the same fate. No! Gensui! You've gone too far! This is just the beginning. Wake up, people of Japan! As the smoke rises, so shall we! So shall we! And this... This is no better than the Red Demon. Look, Master. I hear Gensui saved a seat for you at his party. Seems he's celebrating burning down the British legation. I'd like to go and meet some nice girls, but... You know... Harming innocent bystanders isn't any kind of success. No matter how pleased Gensui and the others might be. Do they really think that's the right way to forge a new nation? <sighs> what do we even want Japan to be? I just can't seem to think straight. Ah, well, no point worrying about it now. I'd better find a way to cheer myself up. Guess I'm heading to the Pleasure District. Join us later, if the mood strikes you. I wonder if everyone else has arrived. <sighs> well, shall we head inside? If I can find a woman with a bit of spirit, I might even enjoy myself. down. They say the big wig fled with his tail between his legs. Serves them right. Those filthy foreigners made off with my woman. I can't get the image of the wounded out of my head. So much for coming here to unwind. Mm, pay attention now. You'll miss the technique. If you so much as blink. <laughs> hey, tell this fellow how good I am. My secret techniques are quite something. Am I right? What do you mean? I'm as sober as a judge. Do you two happen to know this man? Could you kindly stop him bothering me? He's three sheets to the wind. Even the two of us might have a hard time with him. Hang on, you've never witnessed my techniques, have you? Well, you're in for a treat! Really? I can't keep on waiting! Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. See you around. Not exactly the type of guy you normally see around here. I wonder who he was. Oh, there you are! 
far. We've gone and started without you. With this, we take one step forward toward realizing Master Shoin's vision. Kampai! That place would have been a breeding ground for cholera. We were right to burn it to the ground. Speaking of cholera, a firework display to honor all who have died is to be held by the Sumida River. It's a shameless attempt to carry favor with the masses. But I'm all for fireworks. Blaze bright and vanish. Hell, that's how I want to go. Listen up, men. It's time we began the next stage of the plan. The Red Demon is dead, and the British Legation in ashes. We have the momentum to finish off the Shogunate. We'll take control and defend our land from the West's control. Hear, hear, and forge the world, Master Shoin, envision. Then I have a proposition for the next step in ousting the Shogunate. Kill Kaishu Katsu! With the Red Demon gone, he is at the heart of the Shogunate. And word is, he'll be attending the fireworks. Katsu? I've heard he's just another aspiring windbag. Is killing him even worth the trouble? It's the aspiring ones that you have to watch. Not that I need to rely on a drunkard for advice. Let's keep numbers low, to avoid drawing attention. Ready to head to the river and finish him? Great. We're counting on you. Sakamoto. You'll join us, won't you? I guess. If it's what Master Shoin would have wanted. I appreciate it. I'll go ahead and scope it out. Let us meet at the Azuma Bridge. Ah. You had no trouble getting here, I trust. Katsu is a very prominent figure. He's likely to be in one of the boats in the middle. Once the fireworks start, you'll need to find him without anyone seeing you. You could navigate the boat's roofs, or you could swim there. I'll leave it to you and Sakamoto to do the deed. I'll stay here and keep the Shogun's men away. So, are you all set to kill Katsu? The fireworks are about to begin. Hold on until then. I'm ready for action! Well, a spectacular sight. This glamour is perfect for our needs, huh? We can raise some hell without being noticed. Rather sudden. Why don't we settle this with our fists? What am I doing? Well, this ain't good. I suppose I should try harder. 
I will destroy your thoughts. I'd rather not hurt you. the two of you have fallen in with those thugs who want war with the Shogunate. <sighs> Fighting is such a bore. Someone should collect all the army's gunpowder. Then we could really have a firework display. The rebels went too far. But they're right to want war. The Shogun, they killed Master Shoei! So you're going to overthrow the Shogun? Fine. Then what? Surely you don't think you can sink the black ship with that sword? If you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. Well, got something? I do, actually. I plan to build Japan a navy. With black ships of our own, Foreigners will think twice before sailing into our waters. Am I wrong? As for the Shogunate, you're not wrong. It's a lame duck. Seen from the inside, that's clear as day. But have you considered it'd be quicker to fix it than to spend all your time overthrowing it? So how about it? Do you two want to help me out? Murder, arson. Is that what Shoin wanted? The letters arrived from Katsu himself. It seems he wants our help with something. <sighs> Ever since that night, I've been itching to take action. I want to help change our nation. But there has to be a better way. I had a feeling you'd see things my way. I just can't go along with Gensui's methods anymore. Katsu's working out his own vision for what this country could be. You remember what he said on the boat, don't you? I think it's fate things ended up this way, even if I do still feel a little adrift. My gut says to see how far we can go together with Katsu. This isn't the end of the road with Genzui, though. We'll work with Katsu for now, but we're not abandoning Genzui and the others. We should make our way to Katsu's place in Akasaka. He'll be waiting for us there. So, you made it. Now before we go any further, let me make clear that I have no wish to fight you. Don't worry. We've decided to take you at your word. In that case, let us begin. Now, to revive the Shogunate, we must learn from the West, but also call on our nation's strengths. 
But we need recruits, be it in the army, medicine, or the martial arts. And that's where you come in. Very well. Please, do not let me down. Now I'm afraid I have other business to attend to. Come and see me once you have done what I asked of you. Do you mind if I leave the military stuff to you? That kind of thing's not really my forte. Thanks. Don't worry, I won't make you take care of everything. I'll do what I can to help. You work for Katsu now. That being the case, there's a duty I would have you perform. As a servant of the Shogunate, Katsu is my subordinate. As his subordinate, that makes you my subordinate by extension. The duty in question is the protection of the Shogunate vassals. Following the purge, resentment towards the Shogunate has continued to grow. And of late, I've been feeling uneasy. Without definite proof of a threat, however, I can't set people to work. Thus, I would turn to you for help. If you have any other questions, I'd be glad to answer them. I have. Aside from your good self, I've recruited a number of capable individuals. Lord E was surrounded by no few bodyguards, yet he was still slain. We cannot be too cautious. So, will you do it? Will you protect our retainers? Wonderful. I can see why Katsu places his trust in you. If something were to happen, it would be after everyone has left the castle. You may stand by in the area till then. It appears I was right to feel uneasy. Katsu's escort has not returned. Deishu Takahashi. He's a warrior of great skill, and I like to think there's no need to worry. Still, we can't afford to lose Katsu. Not now, of all times. I will come with you. Whatever is happening, I wish to see with my own eyes. If it's dangerous, then I trust you to protect me. I have made my decision. Let's be on our way. But my dress is not suited for the rains. I'm afraid. You'll have to give me a lift. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> the last time I rode like this, I must have been with my stepfather. Katsu was assaulted at the fireworks display on the Sumida River. He ought to have been more careful. He is a true patriot, you know. We must protect such people at all costs. I 
figured there'd be bandits along the way. For a moment there. Sorry for the hassle. You. You're from Satsuma, aren't you? What if I am? Well, well. This is quite the predicament. If she were to find out about this... It seems the situation is under control. I'm glad both you and Takashi are safe. As for the villain. What? Nakamura? Oh, princess, what are you doing here? I should ask you that. With Lord E's death, Satsuma should have made peace with the Shogunate. Yet, here you are making trouble. With all due respect, I think that's a mistake. The Shogunate should not have opened up Japan. It isn't fit to rule. Mr. Saigo would surely say the same. Imbecile! The Saigo I knew would never think of doing something so foolish as attacking Katsu! I won't listen to any more of this nonsense. You'll be dealt with later. Now be gone from my sight! Forgive me. It's just... I wasn't expecting to see a familiar face. <sighs> of late, I had been feeling that something was amiss at the residence. In hindsight, that must have been the source of my unease. The blame for this incident lies with the Satsuma. We've caused a great deal of trouble. And for that, I apologize. You may not worry, but it's something I needed to say. So, as to what happens next? It'd cause complications with the Satsuma if we punished Nakamura. I believe it'd be best to simply pretend none of this happened. As you say, my thanks, Katsu. I must thank you as well. Your service will not go unrewarded. Hmm. What are you doing here? I don't have time to be talking with you. Then be gone. And what of it? Who goes anywhere without a reason? Stop and fall. You needn't concern yourself so much with my affairs. Anyway, some dubious characters will be arriving shortly. I am told they seek to leak certain information to the government. 
I intend to dispose of them. And now that you know why I'm here, I might as well have you help me. The rogues will likely make their move after dark. They will dock by boat here before heading on into Edo. In any event, this is where I will wait for them. What will you do? Hmm. Very well then. got you involved. I may as well explain things a bit more. I have a partner, you see. We grew up together. And later, served as Satsuma retainers. That partner is now on the run. And there are scum who would betray his whereabouts. I can't ignore that. We've taken out their leader. There should be no risk of the government discovering Saigo's whereabouts. Exactly that. You see, Satsuma is not as unified as it used to be. Ever since the passing of Lord Shimasu, Satsuma has been greatly altered. There's hardly a trace of the old unity. To make matters worse, my partner, Takamori Saigo, is on bad terms with our new lord. There are even those who wish to see Saigo killed, as you witnessed tonight. But Saigo is more than capable of defending himself, even if it means striking down his own brethren. If Satsuma is ever to be restored to its former glory, well, only Saigo can hope to achieve such a feat. Moreover, he is something like the other half of me. There are some things we can only accomplish together. Thank you for your help today. I pray that I will soon be able to clear Saigo's name. And when that day comes, I will introduce him to you. In fact, I think you two might actually get along. Ah, it's you. Ah, there you are. Ah. About that. I used to come here all the time, you know. But the last time I came, things didn't quite go as planned. The 
If only it were something like that. What I'm saying is I can't face going in there today. Why don't we take care of something else first? Ah, all right, all right. Anything to help forge a new Japan. We'll probably find Hachiro at the dojo around this time of day. Been a while, Ryoma. True. It's good to see you again. I've come to ask a favor, actually. In order to change this country of ours, I'm trying to work out how to reform the Shogunate. And I need the help of skilled swordsmen like you to do it. Hmm. Reform the Shogunate, eh? That's certainly a lot to chew on. Give me some time to consider it, will you? Incidentally, the demon bell of Chiba wants to see you. Don't keep her waiting. Huh? Huh? Oh, Ryoma! Oh! I had hoped no, to no, see you! No, 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 no. You finally oh, come back to propose! Oh. Haven't you? Good to see you too, Lady Zana, but uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just too busy to be thinking about things like that right now. Oh? Are you trying to huh? weasel out of your promise? Well, if you're intent on denying me that... Then fight me instead! <sighs> okay, okay. But... You know how I've never been able to stop myself from going easy on you. Well, my friend here is just as strong as me. Why don't you fight them instead? <sighs> Fight them, you say? <sighs> I have my doubts, but if it will finally make you deliver on your promise. I consent. <sighs> Just what I'd expect from a friend of Dioma's. Another silver-tongued charmer. Well, I'd love to stay and watch, but I think you need some privacy. Come! Let's fight! Your opponent is Sanna Chiba, niece of Shusaku. On your guard! <laughs> 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 Such impeccable technique. Two, three. Giving up? Far from it. Three. Okay, thanks. You really helped me out. That was some fine work. If you're looking for Ryoma and Lady Sana, they ran off somewhere. But I'd leave them be for now. Besides, you said something about wanting my help to reform the Shogunate, right? Very well. Beat me, and I'll lend a hand.
I'm warning you. I won't go easy. Do my aid. Indeed, you have my word. Hachiro, what's going on? Looks like Sana and Ryoma took off somewhere. Ah, uh, Master, sorry for disturbing you. I was just sparring with this uh, visitor. I've not seen you before. May I ask why you're here? Oh, dear me. It's time Ryoma reaped what he sowed. He's in for it now. This is Ryoma's friend. Said they're going round looking for skilled swordsmen to try and reform the Shogunate. And they're dead serious about it, too. Hell, <laughs> even strung out me into helping them out. Damn. To think a master like Hachiro could lose. But if you're after good fighters, why not head to the Odani Dojo? Master Odani must be known by just about every swordsman in Edo. He's bound to be a great help. Do come back here whenever you like, though. As a friend of Ryoma, there's no need to be shy. Who are you? Why are you here? I see we share the same goal. But unfortunately, now is not the time. Hmm. Is that right? I see. Simply chatting won't help matters. But since there's nobody else I can ask, I might as well share. Ine Kusumoto. I studied Western medicine, and I'm researching a cure for cholera here. Those suffering with the disease cannot be ignored. But I am yet to see much in the way of success. I've been trying to make medicine but it all turned out to be poison. And a deadly one to boot. It needs to be properly sealed in a container, or poison gas will escape. The anti-shogunate folks heard about it somewhere, and came to ask me how to make it. They're up to no good, I'm certain. And they've been haranguing me in my lab ever since. All of my colleagues were terrified and ran off. They sent me a threat this morning. They're planning an attack. But I can't just turn my back and flee. I have to protect my lab. Truly? Okay, please. That's wonderful news. They're planning to strike when the sun sets. Are you ready? The gates are blockaded, so it will take time for them to get in. Which means, they'll likely approach from the rear. I'm counting on you. But please, take care of yourself. They're here. Whatever it takes, 
We can't let them destroy the lab. There are jars of poison in the garden. Try throwing them at the intruders. I am their bodyguard to have you. That's enough for today, I think. I'll be going. <sighs> Thank you so much. I am truly grateful to you. Now I can finally go back to studying cures for cholera. Could I ask another favor? Would you be so kind as to track down Dr. Narasaki. He was rounded up during the recent purge, and he's still in custody. I heard he had just come up with a concoction that eased the symptoms of cholera. I have my work cut out rebuilding this medical facility. In the meantime, I would very much like you to speak to him for me. Please do this for me. And if ever you need anything, you know where to find me. He is to be the captain. We just received word from the commissioner's office. But they said my father was about to be released. There must be some kind of mistake. You have to double check. Even if there has been a mistake, it's too late. His execution will be carried out as planned. Now, if I've made myself understood, off with you. <laughs> oh, didn't expect to see you here. Katsu wanted me to meet Shosaku Narasaki. He's the doctor who supposedly figured out how to cure cholera. But it sounds like they're about to take off his head. Katsu never said a thing about that. It's all very strange. That was the doctor's daughter just now. Better go see what's going on. That girl there, does she mean to climb the wall? Hey, what are you thinking? I'm thinking to break my father out of there. Whoa, slow down. Let's not do anything reckless. We will find a way to help your father, okay? You know what we have to do, right? We're going to sneak in. Good thing you came. Couldn't pull this off without you. I've given it some thought. Why don't we kick up a fuss around here and get ourselves arrested? It'll get us inside, which is a start, at least. Pretty ingenious, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's do it. Just focus on getting locked up as soon as possible. You ready? No time like the present. All right, let's go back to that guard. If we cause a scene right in front of him, there's no way he'll miss the chance to lock us up. Huh? What do you want? Ready and willing! 
Do it. Nothing will. Here they come. All according to plan so far. Now we just need to get out. Break you out of here. Not a bad deal, right? That the mulish doctor? Uh, I know he got taken to the inner grounds, but that's all I can tell you. We're square now, aren't we? Go on, uh, off you go then. I'm ready for action. It's someone there. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Uh, executed? My Make this quick! Narasaki, are you? Just sit tight for a second. You find the key? <laughs> that woman is quite something. This is madness, Odeo. What were you thinking? But I owe you my thanks. Now, what do you want? I'm sure you didn't rescue me out of purely goodwill. They locked me up, and now they want my help. <sighs> well, whatever it takes to ease people's suffering. Cholera treatment. You must mean the medical school in Kanda. There will be an uproar if I don't show up soon. I'll be off. Wait, are we all right? I'm Ryoma Sakamoto. We're both Ryos. This must be a sign. Can I see you again? A sign, you say? Hmm, maybe I'll give you a chance. Who are you? Ah, so you're his new assistant, are you? He's told me you're one to watch. <laughs> My name is Takiyaki Enomoto, Admiral of the Shogun's Navy. I've come here today to observe. A company of guards has been soundly beaten by the French in a military exercise. I fear their command has all but given up on our nation. Without Brunet, our forces stand no chance of being trained to a Western standard. 
That's why I need you to go out there and impress him. Is that a fact? Either way, I am most grateful. Now, let me show you inside. The French forces await beyond. I leave it in your hands. Not bad. When Katsu told me he had arranged some entertainment, he must have meant you. <laughs> you... You have a curious sense of humor, you know? I am sorry. At Katsu's request, I did not inform the French side that this was merely a continuation of the training exercise. I intended to halt proceedings if things got out of hand. I never imagined a French base would fall. Well, well. It seems I was too hasty in writing this nation off. <laughs> I do not need pressure from you. Admiral Enomoto, I will train your men in French military technique. But there are conditions. I do not expect everyone to be of this warrior's caliber, but I need men who are willing to learn. Samurai who rush headlong into battle are mere cannon fodder. I care nothing for status. <laughs> I just need spirited young folks who I can teach to fight from scratch. Understood. We will start to recruit them without delay. I am grateful to you. I'm afraid I must remain here. May I ask one last thing of you? Find Tatsugoro Shinmon in Asakusa and tell him what we've discussed. I'd like him to help recruit some youngsters. My thanks. Listen up, punk! If there's something you want, spit it out! I'm a busy man, and I haven't got all day! And I'm supposed to sort the wheat from the shaft? I haven't got time for that! Especially now that some gang's been starting fires around Sensoji Temple! Boy, I don't know what's going on anymore. But I've got a feeling it isn't going to end well. Point is, I don't have time to be getting mixed up with you. 
So go and wash your face with miso soup or something. That's what I like to hear. But it's going to take more than words to win me over. Hmm? There's a whole gang of them starting these fires. So if you can round them up, I might consider helping you. How about it? You think you can catch these thugs? Well, once you've dealt with them, come and see me in the main hall. That's where my men are based. <laughs> I'm happy you're on board. Rest assured, I'll give it my all. the help, and I've given your request a lot of thought. I'll get you some soldiers. Yes, you can drown the whole lot of us. That's the way we do things. Three head of two. Three. Turn over. Two. Three. I get it. You're no run-of-the-mill samurai. I'll give you that. And you caught those arsonists to boot. I can't very well ignore your request now, huh? Chief Tatsugoro, good to see you again. I believe you know why I've come to visit. I do. You want me to round up a bunch of young folks. Well, your wish is my command. There's no need to be so damn formal. We've been pretty straight with each other so far, haven't we? Thank you for your aid. Leave the rest to me. I'll report back to Katsu. Dr. Narasaki arrived earlier. It seems you rescued him. I thank you. I appreciate all the effort you have gone to. I really must think of a way to repay you. Of course. I'm expecting my colleagues to return shortly. Combining our efforts, I'm confident we'll find a way. I heard something very important from Dr. Narasaki. The juice of the lemon can be used to treat cholera. The problem is, there isn't any of this fruit in Japan. But my father's friend, Mr. Fortune, might be able to help. I'll head now to the Koishikawa Botanical Garden to find him. Meet me there, 
if you're interested in helping. Hey! That's fine work. Thanks to you, it looks like we have what we need to revitalize the Shogunate. Now I sent the best of the men you gathered to the military academy, by the way. You should take a look at yourselves. Join their training while you're at it. Believe me, there are recruits there who could glare a foreigner into submission. Ah, that sounds interesting. I might go and take a peek right now. See you there, okay? Man of action, isn't he? Now, there's one more favor I'd like to ask of you. Enomoto says we don't have the funds to buy ourselves guns or artillery. When I mentioned this to Mr. Brunet, he suggested we try selling Japanese crafts at the International Exposition in Paris. Viscount Shibusawa, our money man, will know exactly what to do. Will you take this letter and offer him any help he might require? You'll find him at the South Commissioner's office. That's all for now. But don't think I won't ask you for more favors if you come back. Feel free to drop by the Military Academy first, though. You won't want to miss what's going on there. <clears throat> Impressive! I wasn't expecting you quite that quick. Truth is, we're being graced with the Shogun's presence today. He's here to observe a little martial arts competition. You'll watch too, won't you? Good! I'll show you inside. This is the shooting range where they teach Takashima-style gunnery. A vital skill for these changing times. Here's where they practice horseback archery. Eventually, they'll start learning Western horsemanship, too. This is the fencing hall, but it's been converted for the competition. I believe the Shogun should already be here. Hey! Ah! There's Ryoma. Why don't you join him and look around together? Ah, you're finally here. I asked if you could enter the competition, by the way. Nothing. I just thought you'd want to. No need to thank me, by the way. I heard the Shogun himself will give you your prize if you win three matches. Can't say the prize isn't appealing. But honestly, I really just want to meet the Shogun in person. They say he's sharp, you know, and sensible, too. So, are you ready to fight? Then off you go! With your skills, you can't lose. Just go mop the floor with them. Then get going. I'm in your corner, remember. Make me proud. Skilled warrior. Let's begin. 
Showing. I must train harder. Ah, I knew you could do it. How are you feeling about the next match? Good. Just keep up the momentum from your last fight. I'm counting on you. Made it this far. Now you just need to win your next fight. Well, are you ready? Win this last match, and the prize is yours. I know you can do this. I really hope this was an educational experience for you too. May we spar again soon. You did it! The prize is ours! I saw the whole thing! A fine display. Now, how about we test those skills in one last bout? Oh boy. Now you want a piece of the action? As long as you don't make us forfeit the prize if we lose. Now, you made short work of Teshu and Deshu. This time, I think I'll start with my sword drawn. Only joking, <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. But His Excellency did say he would like to witness you fight one more time, which is why I, busy though I am, have come to make this request. Oh, and His Excellency has requested real swords for the next duel. Your opponent has already given his consent. No two ways about it, your life will be on the line. So, how about we sweeten the pot to make up for it? After all you've been through, you're not scared of real steel, are you? Just one more bout to go, my friend. Ready to go? I know you're going to win whoever it is you're up against. I believe in you. Amazing! 
Certainly showed me. Hmm? Ah! Hey, I know you. We met in Yoshiwara. <laughs> Mistaken identity, I am sure. I am Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the Shogun. The Shogun? Are you serious? <laughs> Seems I let the cat out of the bag. We had no intention of disrespecting you, uh, Your Excellency. Hey, uh, where are your manners? No need to be concerned. Losing to you was invigorating. Invigorating? Indeed. I mean, you dodged the shuriken. Finding warriors like you is no easy feat. Ah, the next bout. With warriors of this caliber, I know I can put Japan back on its feet. I will make our nation the equal of any foreign land. You wait and see. Well, well, you really are something, aren't you? I can't believe you managed to win against His Excellency. <laughs> you should be proud. His Excellency is a master of the Shuriken. Feel free to make use of this place from now on. You need to hone those talents of yours. Do you really intend to obey the Imperial Court's order and go to Kyoto? This is a fine opportunity. Kyoto is where we can find those who wish to topple me and put the Imperial Court in my place. So let's get on the front foot and bring this conflict to an end. You didn't think I meant to go unprepared, did you? Tadamori! Sir. As military commissioner of Kyoto, you will go as my advance guard. You may take your pick of my finest warriors. Your Excellency, allow me to gather an army to defend Kyoto. I shall find you truly worthy soldiers from all levels of society. This is madness! You'll attract scoundrels! You'll open the door to traitors! Let them come. We shall deal with them all in one fell swoop. I leave this to you. My lord, now if you will excuse me. Hey! Gatsu says he's got another favor to ask of us. Apparently, it's something he can't ask anyone else. Huh? That wasn't much of a reaction. Still don't like the idea of working for Katsu. This is far better than all the... shady stuff we did before, isn't it? I've got a feeling we're about to be given something big to do. And I, for one, can't wait. I'll get going first. Let's meet at Katsu's place. Sorry for the trouble, but there's something I need you to do. 
Top secret stuff. I'm serious. Not a word to anyone. I take it you heard His Excellency is heading to Kyoto. Well, a group of Ronin, the Roshigumi, has been assembled to act as his escort. They're recruiting the best around, no matter their background. Even a criminal record is no problem. It's a pretty brave move. Lord Katamori, the military commissioner of Kyoto, claims it's to give the peasantry the chance to earn a decent living. But, in reality, he's luring the Shogun's enemies in so he can wipe them out all at once. He might look like a pretty boy, but he's a sly one. No question. Hmm. You Shogunate heavyweights come up with all sorts of things. I'm just afraid things might heat up, putting the Shogun in danger. I need people I can trust inside the Roshigumi to see which way the wind is blowing. How about it? You two would be perfect. We've looked everywhere and there's no sign of them in Edo, which means their likeliest location is Kyoto. Anti-Shogunate forces are amassing there now. I wouldn't be surprised if the Demon Claw turned up as well. No objections here. Sign me up. And what about you? Thanks. I owe you one. Right. The Densuin Temple in Koishikawa is about to be flooded with hopefuls. Head there and report back. We'd better hurry if it's already happening. To Densuin Temple. <laughs> Traveled far. Well, look who it is. So you and Yoma are planning on signing up? Well, you see... Teshu Yamaoka and I are overseeing the Roshigumi. Seems I got a little leg up thanks to you both. Much obliged. Excuse me. I'm Koto Nakazawa. I'm here to join the Roshigumi too. Yes, well, uh, I'm afraid you three will just have to turn around. We've already got so many applicants, you see? I heard you were looking for strong warriors. Well, if you think anyone is stronger than me, I'll face them here and now. <sighs> Must they all be like this? Hachiro, we have another fire to put out. Seems those two from before are picking fights with anyone and everyone. You mean those tearaways from the backwater dojo? Guess we've got no choice but to make them settle down ourselves. Please, allow me the honor. But, if I get them to behave, I want in. How's that sound? It's a deal. Honestly, those two have me at my wit's end. If you could deal with them, I would greatly appreciate it. Same goes for you two. Subdue that rowdy bunch inside and you're in. You'll get no favors from me just because I know you. That's the spirit. They were trained out in the sticks, right? Piece of cake. We'll be done before you know it. <laughs> the stronger they are, the better proof of my skill this will be. You got them. Enemy ahead.
You got them. Your patronage. Well, isn't there anyone stronger? You look like you can offer us a bit more support. Yeah! 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 
nothing I can't endure. Not at all bad for a drunk. That's enough, don't you think? Zorji, you're here too, I see. Hmm. You put on quite a show. This is Soji Okita of the Tenen Rishinryu. I'm Kondo, and this is Ichikata. Also of the Tenen Rishinryu. You do well in our most elite unit, the Roshigumi. Enough, don't you think? Zorji, you're here too, I see. Hmm. You put on quite a show. This is Soji Okita of the Tenen Rishinryu. I'm Kondo, and this is Ichikata. Also of the Tenen Rishinryu. You do well in our most elite unit, the Roshigumi. Excellent work. Just excellent. <laughs> I'm impressed. The Tenden Rishindu they use is one of the rougher styles. But I guess they were no match for you. I trust you saw how well I fought. I think I more than lived up to my side of the bargain. <sighs> You're tough, it's true. All right, the three of you are in. Welcome aboard. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. All right then. The Roshigumi will soon be leaving to serve as outriders for the Shogun's journey to Kyoto. Make your preparations, and come back to the square when ready. Hey, looks like Kondo and the others have turned over a new leaf. They're doing a fine job now, sorting out the regiments. It's incredible how many skilled fighters we've managed to assemble. Now it's up to me to figure out how best to make use of them. Anyways, it's about time we set out for Kyoto. Are you ready? Eh? 
Then let's get going. Bound for Kyoto to protect the Shogun, the Roshigumi leaves Edo, its ranks swelled by a full complement of fierce fighters. Meanwhile, the anti-Shogunate forces also depart Edo for the capital, looking to steal a march on their mortal enemy. Whatever, Mr. Sun. I'm afraid we ain't hugging! How dare you demand a toll? The Choshu clan has urgent business with the Imperial courts. Let us part! We couldn't care less what business you have. If you want to go to Kyoto, you'll have to cough a little something up first. <laughs> Seems even samurai are no much for our boys combined, hey? <laughs> Wait till the nobles try to get through here. We're about to be rich. <laughs> Have you heard? Seems a bunch of ruffians have taken over the checkpoint. They'll let folks pass in the evening, but not without paying first. We could try to force our way through, of course, but there's a lot of them. We'd risk losing good men. I heard Genzui and his men have made it to the Ejuri post, too. This could be the perfect chance. Listen! The men from Choshu are at the checkpoint as we speak. What say we team up with them and take on those thugs? What? Choshu, you say? The ones plotting against His Excellency? Exactly. If they get wiped out too, we kill two birds with one stone. Huh. Not bad. I'll go and brush the idea. You'd best come with me. What can I say? I'm a genius, right? You don't get it, do you? I'm trying to make Yenzui and the others realize that not everyone on the Shogun side is a bad egg. This is going to work. You'll see. So it's you, is it? It's been a while? Come on, tell me what you're up to. Well, to cut a long story short, we've joined the Roshigumi. But we're stuck here, thanks to those ruffians. I get the feeling we're all facing the same problem. So, how about we team up and teach them a lesson? Kiyokawa, head of the Roshigumi at your service. You must be Kogoro Katsura, master of the Shinto Munenryu. Your reputation precedes you. I would gladly join forces with you. Ah, oh, so you are Hachiro Kyokawa of the Hokushin Ittoryu. But you can't expect me to work with the Shogun's men. Ah, don't be so petty. We're in the same boat. We need all hands on deck. Exactly. What's the sense in all of us drowning? All right. I hear you. And no, I don't have any better ideas. The last thing I want is to lose men here. Listen. Go and round up Shinsaku and Genzui, will you? I wouldn't want to go into battle without them. Shinsaku said he planned to do some sniffing around the local gambling den. And Genzui just had it out himself. We don't want the thugs getting suspicious. 
This is a job that demands discretion, and that makes you the perfect fit. And worst case, if those two aren't interested in joining us, we all just need to fight this battle with our current numbers. Traveled far. All right. Any ideas for how we should strike? My men are very rough and ready, so I'll order them to attack head-on. Objections? If you're striking from the front, we'll sneak around the back and launch a surprise attack. It's probably best we don't all fight shoulder to shoulder. Very well. It's not like we completely trust your men either. You can join forces with whomever you choose. You and Katsura go back a fair way, after all. Now, what do you say we take the fight to those ruffians? Good. Only don't get too cocky. No. Who do you plan on joining? <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Well, let's see you give this all you've got. I stand at the ready. Let us get this over with. Go in somewhere. You're not getting past us. Finest warrior among us. Much as it pains me to admit it. Yeah. You may be a bunch of mutinous rebels, but do you know how to fight? I'll give you that. And there I was thinking your men were nothing but toadies and halfwits. But they too have potential, I concede. Hmm. Listen, now that we dealt with those gangsters. Shall we set our differences aside, and celebrate? Sounds like a plan. For now, let's drink and make merry. Hmm. You'll be joining us, I take it? <laughs> hmm. You most certainly have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and about time, too! Nice! Oh, you know how to hold your drink. <laughs> how about a manly drinking contest? Oh! <coughs> oh so if you insist, my dear... You are a lovable one, aren't you? Oh, you can really drink, can't you? Don't be shy! Drink! Drink! Hey! Huh? What's an expulsionist doing with the beer? We'll expel the foreigners, but their drinks can remain. Kampai! Kampai. Don't forget me! Kampai! 
Well, I'd have expected your Roshigumi to be here by now. Patience. You're too anxious. The Roshigumi are on their way to Kyoto, I assure you. What happens next is anyone's guess. Nothing. We both know your real goal is to weaken the Shogunate from within. Perhaps. But what to do with all those fine warriors? Their skills could be useful in a number of ways. In any case, it depends on the course you decide to take. We await a favorable response. The culture this nation still calls its own is worthy of admiration. If only I could say the same for all of its people. A real shame. Shigumi ahead of him offering their protection. The Shogun, Yoshinobu Tokugawa, safely arrives in Kyoto. However, the capital is a hotbed of insurrection as rival samurai jostle for position and pursue their respective goals. Sir, there are some awful rumors going around. They're saying Hachiro's been killed. And he was secretly involved with the anti-shogunate faction. I am sorry to say, but it's all true. His body was found in the city last night. No! He's... dead! It can't be! There was a message to the Kyoto rebels in his pocket. He was trying to sell the Roshigumi services to the highest bidder. Hachiro, of all people! With the anti-shogunate bunch! That snake? Do we know who took him out? Not yet. Which makes me think... Whoever was helping Kyokawa communicate with the other side... Could in fact be a member of our outfit. Now that I recall... Wasn't it Kyokawa who brought you both into the Roshigumi? Right. Come on, Kondo. You don't really think we're traitors, do you? Sorry, I, I shouldn't have doubted you. Look, I'm just a little thrown by everything. Look, Kondo is not the only one to have started questioning his comrades' loyalties. Everyone's getting a bit jumpy, as I feared they would. If we stay in Kyoto, this could very well tear us apart. Which is why the Shogun has ordered us back to Edo. Right now? I can't get on board with sudden orders like that. The rebels have infiltrated us, and you want us to leave as if nothing's happened. Shouldn't it be our top priority to protect His Excellency while he's in Kyoto? No. We would only be putting his life in danger. Imagine letting a traitor get close to the Shogun. The shame that would bring. I'll summon the entire outfit before long. In the meantime, try to calm yourself. You each need to have a good think about a proper course of action. It's hard to believe Hachiro is gone. What are we supposed to do now? Well, to begin with, I guess we should see what everyone's thinking. There's a lot to chew on, but we need to decide what our next steps will be. 
Katsu asked us to investigate what was going on inside the Roshigumi. If they dissolve it, we're out of a job. And Kondo's on a new mission, taking action with the volunteers. If that's this, I think we have two options. Either we work together with Kondo's group, or we take this as our cue to leave. I don't really know which is the right thing to do. But we have to make a choice. Yes. I think that's probably for the best. Katsu's main concern is harm befalling the Shogun, after all. The thing is, we're not really part of either faction. I know that whichever path we choose, we'll be doing it for Japan's future. Wow, is it time already? Is anyone else going to show? Looks like everyone's here. We are now going to negotiate directly with Lord Katamori to offer our services in Kyoto. All who have the guts, follow me! Shogun arrived in Kyoto. The city has been in constant turmoil. So I find your proposed army a most intriguing idea. Very well. They shall keep the peace in the city. And from now on, let them be known as the Shinzengumi. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems some of our allies are still loath to trust me. I'd appreciate it if you could sound things out in my stead. It's a tough decision, but don't agonize over it too much. Allegiances can and will change. That's just how life goes. I'm just glad Lord Katamori continues to have faith in us. I'll reassemble the outfit, with Toshi as my second in command. I hope I can still count on your support. By our deeds, our name will ring out over Kyoto. And the Shogunate will have to grant us the status we will have earned. Lord Katamori is sending us on a raid close to Kamogawa. We'll head there immediately. Very good. Fall in behind me. The General Commander and the rest have already gone ahead. Hijikata's group will likely join us later on. With all of us together, no one can stand up to our might. I'm expecting you to play your part as well. The Choshu have brought the anti-shogunate forces together at the Ikeda Inn in order to plan their uprising. Some of the men inside might have helped us with those checkpoint thugs. But if they insist on their cause, we have no choice but to take them out. On top of that, reports say Tezo Mihabe is among their numbers. He is as important to their movement as showing Yoshida was. Yes. 
I heard about the plot from Lord Katamori himself. He was a seditious criminal who threatened the peace His Excellency secured. We cannot allow another man to take his place. Indeed. Letting even one get away could cause a world of trouble. Let's play this by the book. We should have the lesser numbers. Shall we wait for Hijikata's detachment? We must not arouse suspicion by waiting around. We make our move now. Understood? Let's go get them! Indeed. I'm itching to draw my blade. This marks the first great battle of the Shinsengumi. Go forth. There's no way we will fail. I'm really excited myself. This is it. This is the Shinsengumi. Open up! Do it, or we'll force our way in! Ready! We must get away, quickly! This is the authority! You will be cut down! Choice but to fight! So you hear It's a bad idea to have a familiar face like you and make them spill the beans. Very well. I'll be back as soon as I've got Soji out of here. Just don't let your guard down. Damn it! I'm sorry. We meet again, perhaps for the final time. Please, give me a chance to speak. So, have you truly turned your back on us? That was... honest. You're made of sturdier stuff than I thought. As a fellow samurai, we are a dying breed. I am prepared for what comes next. However, I must ask that you look after Kusaka and the rest once I am gone. You might say that, but I'm willing to bet you won't just abandon them. 
I have one last trick up my sleeve. If I'm going to the grave, I'll take them all with me. Run, Katsura. I leave the rest to you. Yes, sir. Godspeed, Master Miyabe. Katsura still trusts you, it seems. It would be a shame for you to die here, too. I bid you flee. Go on. What's a heroin down in there? Wait. What of Miyabe and Katsura? There were rumors he was amassing gunpowder. But I never thought he'd turn it on himself like that. Well, look for any injured men and patch them up for me. No, that... There was no injury. If you're concerned, you should speak to him yourself. Seems like it. I saw them a moment ago. Well, we didn't manage to finish them off, but we certainly nailed some heavy hitters. I'm shocking this one up as a victory. We'll withdraw after we've attended to the wounded. Nakaoka! Oh. You did well to make it such a long way. The days of the Shogunate are over, Kusaka. Oh. It's been a pleasure fighting alongside you. Nah. Choshu troops are in the mountains ready for battle. I pull some strings and have a sizable army under my command now. If my Kihetai join you, the Shogunate doesn't stand a chance. You know it! <laughs> Kusaka, we have the advantage. Just say the word, and your troops... We'll be ready to march! Great. No sign of Katsura? He was attacked by the Shinsengumi at the Ikeda Inn. He managed to get away, it seems. But we are not sure where he is now. I see. In that case, do you remain firm in your resolve? Yes. Your troops have come a long way and given us a golden opportunity. It is time to live up to Master Shoen's ideals. When I fled my clan in Tosa, it was your clan that took me in. It's time for me to repay the favor. Oh. <laughs> Will you let bygones be bygones, and fight the Choshu alongside me? I am not sure the Satsuma clan will be all that useful on the unfamiliar terrain of Kyoto. I assure you that is not the case. Your forerunner, Lord Shimazu, possessed foresight. He traded with Britain for the latest weaponry, and prepared for this day. He demanded that the Shogunate embrace reform. Hmm. Truly, he was a loyal servant of the Shogun, an example to all. If the Satsuma clan remain bonded closely with me, we can realize the ideals of your predecessor. You think the same, don't you?
Have you got something to say to me? Then I shall try my best to answer you. Sure I do. They trust me. And why shouldn't they? I'm strong, and I look out for our younger officers. Well, I'm sure the same can be said of Hijikata as well. But everyone is scared of that man. Wonder why? Maybe it's his face? Hijikata is a fine man, but he's not exactly charming. I, on the other hand, <laughs> am different, as you can tell. <laughs> I see. Our conversation is done. With great help from our friend here, we were able to complete our previous mission. Fine work. You may stay a while longer. Things may have worked out advantageously at Ikeda Inn, but since then the Choshu have been making a most disquieting show of things. If they raise an army and strike, it'll be all-out war. The Shinsengumi must act now. I expect results from you. Are you prepared to raise your sword against Choshu? Well said. Then be at the ready. The Choshu, they're here. <laughs> We need you to enter from the northern gate and locate Kusaka, the commander of their main force. You'll almost certainly be part of the vanguard. When you find him, show him no mercy. The traitors who dare threaten the palace will die by our hand. We're resolved to bring down the Shogunate. Walk away. We'll cut you down. Save your words, It's time for steel now. Nagoka and Kusaka are far more skilled than us. Press on if you dare, but you don't stand a chance. Oh, you choose to stand in our way? Tons of blind eyes for the people suffering. They are not fit to rule. Surely you see this. To find the only change is someone willing to challenge the status quo. It falls to us to cure this country's ills. My apologies. Take your victory. Both to the world that you bet you get, Saka.
British cannons pack quite a punch, don't they, Saigo? The Joshu are all but defeated. Let us leave the rest to the foot soldiers. No, we must wipe them out to a man. Continue the bombardment. Hurry, over here! <laughs> The Choshu were more spineless than I thought. If this retreat continues, Kyoto will be burned to ashes. So you are behind this? It takes you back, doesn't it? This smell. Back to that day. The day when we died. The Shogunate, the whole country, will be engulfed in flames. This is the world we longed for, is it not? Let's fight like the bright-eyed novices we used to be. to follow, the same as when we were children. Once you have the foreigner's weapons, the rest is easy! One small child will start an inferno that ignores the nature! It is in times of strife. We have not needed it. See, I've kept us relevant, you and me. Blade twins, the two of us as one. Join me. Someone told me that the Shogunate is already dead. So it must be reborn, and usher in a new world. What that world looks like is still shrouded in darkness. But there are those who are feeling their way towards the light. A new dawn. I fight alongside those who would bring it about. And so, I cannot join you. You would understand. You of all people. So, they have scattered to the winds. May they escape alive and realize our master's dream for a new world. Ito, Yamagata, Nakaoka, Katsura, Shinsaku, Fumi. How I wish I could see you one last time. Master Shoin. I am ready to join you now. August 1864, Genzui Kusaka took his own life. He was 25 years old. The Forbidden Gate Rebellion ends with Genzui Kusaka's suicide and the defeated Choshu clan tarred with treachery. The battle may be over, but Kyoto's skyline blazes still the city blackened by the conflagration that has been unleashed. Gensui. Why? I saw. 
so many willing to die for an idea. I never think about those left behind. <laughs> So he was chasing your brother's dream. For all our sakes, he wanted to build us a new Japan. I'm afraid I would never understand. How can you create a peaceful world through war? It is in times of strife. When we are most needed. This is the world we longed for, is it not? We can't let the juicy rubble escape! <laughs> Haven't you had enough? The battle is over! I rounded up the rest of them! Come! I'm putting a stop to this. There's been enough bloodshed! All the men of Choshu want is to change Japan for the better. Damn it, we all want the same thing. For it to come to this. This way! I hope Shinsaku is all right. Shintaro, too. He'll be fighting alongside the Choshu. The Choshu survivors have fled to that temple. I don't know if Shinsaku is there, but we need to get inside and help them. I'd like to avoid fighting the Shogun's men, but that might not be easy. Are you prepared? I hope so, but I don't know. The Shogun's forces, especially the Shinsengumi, have eyes and ears everywhere. Should have known you'd be ready for anything. If they find out we helped the Choshu now, they may well brand us as traitors. But we need to act now, before it's too late. Come on, let's make our move. Time for me to shine, eh? I stand at the ready. They must be hiding somewhere. Root them out now. Kill them all. <laughs> I saw they had driven him into the main hall. For your patron. Do you mean to interfere? If so, I will not do that. Oh, 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 Kondo would be grateful for fighters with your skills. Perhaps you might consider... No, never mind. You 
did well to stop him. Now, let's get Shinsaku out of here. We should be able to get him to the Choshu's Kyoto estate. With all of this going on, I'm hoping the defenses there have thinned. He's in trouble if we don't get him to a doctor right away. Come on, let's hurry! If it wasn't for you, I would have been done for. I seriously thought it was the end for me. But thanks to you, I live to tell the tale. It was Oryo who saved you, really. <laughs> I didn't know you were such an expert. The expert is my father. All I did was follow his instructions. To you and your father, I could never thank you enough. If you had not come, many lives would have been lost. And I must say, your arrival was a very nice surprise. I never thought this would be my chance to see you again. <laughs> it seems too good to be true, doesn't it? Clearly, fate has something in store for the two of you. Uh, I... I don't know about that. <laughs> that aside, uh, what happened to Katsura? Do you know where he is? No. He vanished after the incident they get in. But then this letter arrived here, just this morning. Let's see here. I'm in Kamogawa. Your time has come. Rise as one. And do you think this is Katsura? I can't say for certain. But anyone who would know Master Shon's last words must have seen his end. You're right. That way we'll know for sure. Katsura's the man in charge. If he doesn't show his face soon, it's going to be hard to keep everyone in line. Regretfully, I would have to leave this one up to you. I'm still not too steady on my feet. Also, it feels like I'm coming down with a cold. <coughs> mm, not a problem. We'll head there as soon as we're ready. There's a longhouse you can use in Kyoto. Rest up there. Once you're all set, join me in Kamogawa. Be careful, Ryoma. I will. Just look after Shinsaku, won't you? What the hell happened here? Looks like these men were still breathing pretty recently. This doesn't bode well for Katsura. We need to find him now. Right. I'll start over there. So much of the town has been burned down. So many homes. We're meant to be fighting for a better country, but this is anything but. That takes care of that. Now then, let's ask our friend here what that was about. Thank the stars. Glad it was you too who showed up. Katsura, I had a feeling that was you. What are you doing in that getter? The Choshu men feared the worst. I've been looking into the Shogunate's next moves, but I've let down my comrades by not being able to fight with them. Genzui especially. It wasn't for nothing though. I got my hands on some vital information. The Shogunate are going to send in a force to deal with Choshu soon. The Shogunate is making a move. <laughs> They're seizing their chance to take the Choshu out once and for all. Indeed. And they're expecting the Satsuma to provide the best part of the force. Them again? But weren't they planning to revolt against the government? Well, the Satsuma are making a show of compliance to the Shogunate, which will spell the end of the Choshu. Any bright ideas? Hmm. <sighs> you know, I've always wondered why the Choshu and Satsuma don't just make an alliance. 
You're the only ones with enough power to bring about change in this country. If you joined forces, you'd be unstoppable. You're not wrong. It would be incredible. Could it be done? But the Satsuma and Choshu are sworn enemies. We cannot simply form an alliance. That's right. While the Satsuma and Choshu fight, the West eats our country alive. Is that really what you want? <sighs> I see what you're saying. Then we should ride to Kiyomizadera Temple. Takamori Saiko of the Satsuma should be there at present, as far as I'm aware. He's the commander of the Satsuma forces right now. If we can persuade him, this plan might have legs. Let's meet at Kiyomizudera Temple! Could I leave it to you too to broach the subject? I doubt he'll be in the mood to listen if an enemy like me shows up out of nowhere. No problem. We'll handle this. So, Saigo's in this temple, right? Ah, that's right. The former chief priest of this place, Gesho, was said to be close with Saigo, and I hear today is the anniversary of his death. Hmm, okay. Time to head inside. We'll get kicked out if we just rush in. Better to wait for the right moment. The grounds are pretty big, so we should prioritize locating Saigo. Time for me to shine, eh? I stand at the ready! That was smooth. So, you've been ordered to lead the expedition against Choshu. What do you intend to do, Sakyo? What would Gesho advise? Well, I'll leave you to ponder it. Some solitude may bring you clarity. How dare anyone threaten me on this most sacred day? Please wait! We just want to talk, not fight! Alright! I will live with both of us. I won't die here so easily! Crossing blades with someone with no intention to kill is pointless. You said you would like to speak to me. <clears throat> Are you telling me to ignore the Shogun's direct orders? Preposterous. There is nothing I can do. Forget the Shogunate. I want to speak to you, not them. It was the Choshu who drew their swords first. And considering their behavior in Kyoto, how can we leave them be? Look, I understand Satsuma's perspective. Mm. But have you thought about our future? What do you mean? Mm. Change this country? You, what are you saying? Saigo, deep down, I know you agree with me. There are things Satsuma can only accomplish with Choshu by its side. 
You want us to march alongside our sworn enemies? I simply cannot see it. And yet it can be so. If we should will it. But first, I should apologize. I am sorry. I could not stop the conflict earlier. <gasps> Katsura of the Choshu? What are you wearing? Oh, ignore these filthy rags. I assure you, my aspirations remain unsullied. As my associates have said, we must put aside our differences, even if it means moving heaven and earth. We must transform Japan. Katra, I... I hear you. I accept your proposal. Gesho, too, would have been glad to put an end to the bloodshed. Then it's settled. The Josho and Sasuma will join forces, and we shall be the ones to see it through. You know, I've heard that in the West you're meant to hold hands and shake them on occasions like this. Go on. Try it. Saigo, I look forward to working with you. <sighs> the pleasure is mine. Takamori Saigo, swayed by Ryoma, defies the Shogun's orders and calls off the Satsuma assault on the Choshu. This episode helps the Satsuma and Choshu draw closer, and they conclude an alliance aimed at overthrowing the Shogunate. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you back then? That I had a dream as big as the damn ocean! <laughs> <laughs> This way. Like a plan. Ah, this is a real mess. <laughs> After being attacked at the Terada Inn, Ryoma Sakamoto took refuge amongst the Satsuma clan. Might not be so lucky next time. I'm going to have to leave things to you for now. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Did 
Did the Ryoma make it away without any trouble? Sorry I couldn't be there for the send-off. Now we can't afford to ignore what happened at the Tarada Inn. But we still don't know the true course of events. Indeed. From what you've said, we can be sure a Shinsen Gumi member was involved. Kondo and Hichikata were away from Kyoto, serving the Shogunate, which puts both of them out of the picture as suspects. If the Satsuma Choshu Alliance searches for the culprit in the open, we'll only incur the wrath of the Shogunate. And that's where you come in. We want you to infiltrate the Shinsen Gumi and sniff out the culprit from within. I leave the matter to Katsura's judgment. I knew you'd be on board with the idea. You can handle yourself and adapt to the unexpected. And since you were once part of their number, even fleetingly, you shouldn't raise suspicion. Well, perhaps some of them already know of you. But with a little disguise, no one will notice, I'm sure. You can learn from me. Come to Nishi Honganji Temple once you're fully prepared. You need to be ready to pass the initiation. This place is being used as a Shinsengumi outpost. The arrangements for enlisting have already been made. Thanks to a Satsuma connection, they're expecting a skilled Ronin to join their ranks. I've arranged for a uniform for you as well. You'll easily pass for the rank and file. Unless you can uncover who orchestrated the attack on the Tereda Inn, it won't be safe for Ryoma to come back. I know you're up to the task. The stakes are high, but I'm counting on you. Ha! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Saigo and I will be praying for your good fortune. Ah, you must be the new recruit. I've heard much about you. I've heard talk of your skill with the sword. But a lot of the men here like to talk big, so I'll have to see it to believe it. Hmm? Have I seen you someplace? Now there's a fearsome look. Ah, I expect great things from you. Though I swear I know you from somewhere. Ah, maybe I am. My mistake, I'm sure. Ah, I haven't introduced myself, Shimpachi Nagakura. And this cold fish is Hajima Saito. Saito, show the new recruit around our outpost. And make sure you put them through their paces. Make sure you listen to Saito's every word, you hear? His skill is peerless. <laughs> Don't upset him or you're done for. <laughs> Good grief. Not a chance. Nagakura's superior to me, no question. He's just testing my patience, as usual. The training facilities are just over there. Let's head in. Here's where we trade. Seems we're just in time for a fish. You won't make it into the Shinsengumi without some skill at the sword. It's time to show me what you're worth. Try taking him on. Good, I have high hopes. <laughs> Good.
you did well, but I'd like to see a little more. Now, I'd like you to face him. Don't disappoint me. Kakugo! What's the verdict? Think they've got what it takes? The technique is certainly interesting. Not bad at all. Well, coming from you, I'll take that as a high compliment. Now, what say I grant them the honor of a bout with their superior? Nagakura is in a different league from the other members you fought. Fancy your chances? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't you worry! No one's going to die. No need to hold back, Luka. Throw everything at them! Intriguing. Besting Nagakura is no mean feat. Right then, follow me. Ah, you must be the newcomer. Could you come here a moment? Sorry for interrupting. But even in this state, I thought I should at least introduce myself. This is Soji Okida. Neither I nor Nagakura are his match in swordplay. That's all in the past now. Now that I'm bedridden, I don't amount to anything but dead weight. If you want to improve, Saito could teach a thing or two, I'm sure. He's peerless, after all. <laughs> <coughs> Okida, I'll go on to the dojo. Send the new recruit over once you finish talking. So then, why do you want to join the Shinsengumi? <laughs> well, I can't disagree with that. Put your life on the line, and Kondo is sure to reward you generously. Saito's waiting, isn't he? You should get going. I'll see you later. Let's begin. For sure. There are few amongst our number who would be a match for you. That is no exaggeration. Why? You could go toe to toe with Kogoro Katsura or Ryoma Sakamoto. Those names must have reached your ears, I'm sure. Oh my, that ignorance could well end up killing you. You should pay more attention to what's going on. Right. I think we can make use of the new recruit. Any objections? Not from me. There's someone else I'd like to introduce you to. Follow me. There's an officer I'd like you to meet, Kashitaro Ito. A man so sharp he can tell you where the world is going and exactly how it's going to get there. Suzuki, I pointed him out before, is Ito's younger brother. He's important to know too, leads one of our units. 
Now, after I introduce you to Ito, I'll speak with him in private. You are to use any means necessary to listen to our conversation. Understood? Ito, I've brought you a new recruit. Their swordsmanship rivals that of myself or Nagakura. Well, you must truly be something to earn such praise from Saito. I am Kashitaro Ito, Shinsengumi's staff officer. The Shinsengumi is made up of the most elite warriors in Japan. Against the Shogun's cowardly retainers, we are as a tiger to a house cat. This country's very future will be decided by our actions. You would do well to be mindful of the power we wield. <laughs> A most promising recruit. By all means, put that sore arm to use in service of our cause. I expect great things from you. By the way, Saito, can I have a word with you? That will be all. Dismissed. Listen to our conversation from outside and make note of every word. Got that? Go. Someone so skilled should be able to oversee fencing drills, I thought. With Kondo and Hijikata absent, and Okita ailing, now's the time. No one can stop us from breaking away from the Shinsengumi. But without us here, the enemies of the Shogunate lurking in Kyoto may grow bold. The attempt on Sakamoto at the Terada Inn Failed to rouse either the Satsuma or the Choshu. We needn't worry on that account. We are gathering in Aburana Koji to discuss precisely how to break free. I expect to see you there. We are finished. You can come out now. Fine work playing the spy. I doubt Ito noticed a thing. You must have heard it yourself, but let me state, Ito is a traitor. I'm keeping watch over him at Kondo's orders. It's mostly the Choshu. There's a rumor they're joining forces with the Satsuma, though. And it was Sakamoto who brokered the deal. He recently became a bigwig in the anti-shogunate forces, prompting Ito's attempt to off him at the Terada Inn. Well, even if we did, we wouldn't just boorishly try to overwhelm him with numbers. If we wanted him dead, I alone would have sufficed. Ito's true intent was to tarnish the Shinsengumi's reputation and to ascertain the plans of the anti-shogunate forces. What we learned is that they can't afford to make any big moves right now, which led to Ito concluding the time was right for him to make his move. I'm going to rid the Shinsengumi of Ito's faction. I know you've only just enlisted, but I will need your help. Meet me at Aburano Koji. That's where we'll do it. You came. We'll begin once Ito's men are here. This is your first official mission. Is there anything you need to ask? I haven't mentioned this to him. He suspects I've been making moves in secret. There are plots everywhere. Wheels within wheels. I'll tell you everything if we make it through this. Good. 
That saves me some trouble. Tordor and his companions are masters of the sword. This will be quite the fight. Are you fully prepared? Good. We'll ambush them as they return. Coming. Quickly, hide. to this. Just as it all has said it would. Deception has gone both ways. <laughs> it's no use. Ito isn't here. Find him. Suzuki is here too. Hmm? He'll fight like a madman to protect his brother. Rather than face him head on, perhaps we should strike from the roof. Oh, you can't. But you'll never reach my goal. for your own good. It made you think all those around you were fools. Which is why you couldn't bear to serve under Kondo. So earnestly devoted to the Shogunate. I'm lucky I had you covering my flank. With that, we've excised a cancer from the Shinsengumi. I don't know who you are, but it's time to stop pretending you're one of us. Who knows? As long as you can stay out of Kondo's bad books, we won't come rushing to cut you down. Life is what you make it. See you around. Ha! Oh, fine work. I knew you'd make it back unscathed. Getting right to it. 
who masterminded the attack on Roma at the Terada Inn? So he got caught up in infighting then. I heard a faction of the group had been cast out. Ito must have been the leader. Word reached me Ito was planning to go rogue from the Shinsengumi. Attacking Roma must have been part of the plan. Clever stuff. Tarnishing the group's reputation to create a pretext justifying an independent split. Now I have the full picture of the Shinsengumi. All thanks to you, of course. We'll need to inform Saigo as well. Oh, look who's back. Perfect timing, actually. This soldier could really help us achieve our goals. We're at something of an impasse. Can we bring him into the fold on this? Hmm. The day of reckoning is at hand. We joined forces with the Satsuma clan, but barely escaped with our lives. How long can this alliance last? I fear it is built on sand. If we want to avenge Kusaka's death, we must act now. Genzui is dead. Shinsaku sick. And the realm are missing. Frankly, we need all the help we can get. I'm going to need you on our side. Actually, that may not be necessary. <laughs> well, well, look who it is! I figured you were dead. <laughs> or did you strike a deal with the Lord of Death? <laughs> I'm more surprised to see you still alive. I thought you'd be passing me on the way to hell. Sorry for all the worry I caused. But fear not, Oryo has fixed me up. Now, Without further ado, I've got a solution to your problems. With my plan, we won't even need to fight. Really? Uh, look, it's not that I don't trust you. Let's just say that staring death in the face can be inspirational. <clears throat> There's no time to waste. We have to show this to Lord Yoshinobu. I intend to return this nation to a better era, but certain people will need to be removed. Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the last shogun. A fine title for a history book, wouldn't you say? Right, let's go. I must say, I'm glad for the opportunity to walk at your side again, my friend. Come, let's head to Nishou Castle. If we can get my proposals enacted, there'll be no more warring factions. Just think, everyone would work hand in hand for the good of the nation. Shogunate or no, we all share the desire to make Japan a better place. And that's why we've got to set aside our differences and end the bloodshed. Now, I agonized over it a while, but seeing as there are eight proposals, and they were conceived aboard a ship, I'll call them the Eight Shipboard Proposals. There are no guards. Something feels off. Best be prepared for anything once we're inside. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Not in the world. The Shogun may be in danger. Hurry! It seems we've been beaten here by a foreigner. No less. So, some rats have snuck in. No matter. I'll deal with you alongside the Shogun. Come 
come at a better time. I need your help. Yes, Your Excellency. The proposals must wait. To its own devices, Japan will inevitably be lost. What I do, I do to protect it. That's my duty, and I won't let you do as you please! Do not understand this country's true worth! Assassinating the Shogun? Why, you little... Let me go! Surely you must see how wrong this all is! The Shogunate is merely an army and it controls the government! This nation must be restored to its rightful state! And who better to guide it than me? One who truly understands Japan! So, that's what you're after. Throw him in the cells. We can't afford to antagonize Britain right now. You will be prey to the great powers! The sacred soul of this land will be lost, I tell you! <laughs> what an odd fellow. No. I fear he set the nail on the head. Sometimes others see us more clearly than we see ourselves. You believe that drivel? Would you please take the time to look this over? I really think this might be the answer. At least, that's what I hope. Shogun adopts Ryoma's plan. Before the Satsuma and Choshu can strike, ending three centuries of Tokugawa rule. In the Imperial Court, former ministers and the most powerful clans gather to decide on the form of their new government. Jewish power only to launch an offensive? That is nonsense. Someone is clearly trying to frame me, to drive a wedge between me and the new administration. I will not ignore this calumny. You believe us to be behind this? I beg your pardon. My lord, you are not safe here. We must get away and fast. Hmm. So you feel no need to flee, I take it? <sighs> it seems they're not going to change their minds. Ryoma, answer me this. If the Shogun remains in the administration, how can that be a fresh start for our nation? The Tokugawa will contrive to take control again. Then they will surely crush us. The time has come to settle things with firearms. Who cares who comes out on top? 
The main thing is to find a solution that works for us all. Well, come on then. Do you have a plan? Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, how can I put it? Uh, um, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I thought as much. Listen, let's think of something together. We've come this far after all. <sighs> Thank you. That would be very welcome. At this mm. rate, there'll be no winners at all. something. I seem to have angered Ryoma. <sighs> He's living in a dream world if he thinks the Alliance would ever allow Lord Yoshinobu into the new administration. Thank you. I'm glad you understand at least. It's not that I don't think Ryoma has a point, but you know. Whatever the case, Ryoma has been indispensable in getting us this far. This isn't the time for infighting. I'll continue to coordinate with the Satsuma. So, I'd like you to keep an eye out on Ryoma. I ran into Oryo near the Omi Inn just now, and told her much the same as you. Please, I need you and Oryo to talk Ryoma around for me. All right? Yes, you are going to see Ryoma? When I left Ryoma at Omi Inn, I told him not to do anything rash, but... He said he was about to hatch a hell of a plan, but... Who knows what he's up to? I suppose there's not much I can do anyway. Though, I'm sure he'd appreciate a hunt from you. Ah, oh, I know. What do you say we bring him something? What would he like? Can't help me look? Let's get going then. What is it he likes to eat again? Let's get going now that we have our reader gift. Yoma should still be at the Omi Inn. Did that come from the Omi Inn? I'll go find help. You get to Ryoma! Wearing to go. Let us get this over with. a bad influence on you, but I've taken care of that.
don't give up! You can't stop the war. No one can. This nation will descend into chaos. And why would you want to? This is the world we longed for. It's here at last. Ryoma! Shinta has been wounded. He needs a doctor. I finally seen it. The new shape this country must take. I'll get help. Don't try to speak. We must gather everyone with the ability, regardless of social status. Farmers, craftsmen. Decisions should be made by a parliament. A forum where we can exchange ideas. A new dawn is breaking. I see it so clearly. I leave the rest to you. You are my true partner. There is no need for an epic battle. We merely need to show them the difference in our strength. Indeed, our men vastly outnumber their own. Once the fighting starts, they will surely see the error of their ways. Indeed, I am eager to discuss peace terms. If this drags on, we risk falling prey to foreign powers. I secured your release. You might show some gratitude. Thanks to you, the negotiations have soured considerably. Now, about those weapons you have for sale, we'll take all you have. I heard about Ryoma. That man had a certain way about him. It was impossible to not let your guard down once he really got going. That's a good thing, mind you. Made things seem just a little brighter. That's why I hoped he'd be able to get both sides of this war on the same page. Now that that's fallen through. It's like the world has changed. People want blood. A real fight is all but inevitable. <sighs> So Ryoma was attacked by the Demon Claw Samurai. Who exactly are they to you, anyway? I know they were once part of the Veiled Edge, a group that seeks revenge against the Shogunate. You were once their partner, weren't you? I can't blame you for wanting to hunt them down. It's clear they'll stop at nothing to fan the flames of war. And now they've gone and taken Ryoma from us. Their desire for revenge has robbed them of whatever humanity they might have once had. Anyway, I see now that your bond is a strong one indeed. But you will have to bring this to an end one day. You and no other. The confrontation between the Shogunate and the Duke clans has already begun. Which means the Demon Claw is bound to turn up soon. You must be ready for anything. We do this for Ryoma too. You do what you need to do. Till next time. Ah! 
Over here! It's a terrible shame what happened to Sakamoto. I would not have wished that manner of death upon him or anyone else. I vow anew that I, no, that the Shinsengumi will protect His Excellency at all costs. I'm sure you know, but the time to face down the rebels has come. We may outnumber them, but we cannot underestimate our foe. You have your own reasons to fight, but this is bigger than that. It's do or die for all of us. Please, fight alongside us with the Shitsengumi. My deepest thanks. With you at our side, no one can stand up to our might. His Highness bids us attack with this might, that we may sue for peace on our terms. You will assault the enemy headquarters. Best of luck. Once we emerge victorious, we'll be heroes one and all. Now, we fight. It is an honor to fight alongside such renowned samurai. We've been expecting you. My name is Kondo, of the Shinsengumi. My Denshutai troops have finished training and are ready for battle. Be abolished. Now we are the loyalists, and the Tokugawa, the rebels! We did it at last! Yes, <laughs> our efforts have been rewarded! We have righteousness on our side. Our enemy is nothing but a disorderly rebel! Revolutionist army led by the Choshu and the Satsuma, squared off against the Shogunate forces. And so the curtain rose on the Bushin War. This is quite 
son déjà vu, is it not? With Kondo's help, I've finally created the army I had dreamed of. I won't let you ruin it. brought his ship around. Please, you must escape to Edo. Never! If I flee now, the Shogun, it's over! But that's exactly what they're hoping for. Should you fall to your enemies here, war will rack the entire nation. <sighs> Lord Katamori, if you would. <sighs> you burn with a desire for vengeance. those flames. This is not over. <clears throat> Forces outnumbered the enemy. With the retreat of the Shogun, defeat was at hand. Riding high from its victory, the revolutionist army began its march on Edo. In disarray after their defeat at Tobafushimi, the remnants of the Shogunate army flee to Edo in their commander's wake. Emboldened by their victory, the revolutionist army heads to Edo, intent on delivering the final blow to its enemies. went more smoothly than expected. We'll send the men who can still fight to mop up the rest of the enemy. Ah, made it through safe and sound, I see. That's a relief. Indeed. 
but at no small cost. I should also say a report came in that Shinsoku has passed away. To think he too has left us. They say he was keen to hear news of the battle up till his very last moment. Sadly, we don't have the time to mourn him just yet. Thanks to our victory, the word we've been trying to forge is right around the corner. And it appears the Demon Claw Samurai's assault on Yodo Castle didn't harm our cause either. Well, that's more or less the size of it. I'm sure they're up to something. But regardless, Yodo Castle was a great opportunity to turn the tide. We'll gather our forces and chase down the Tokugawa. Whatever orders might come our way, attacking Edo is unavoidable now. The samurai with the Demon Claw will no doubt be headed there too in pursuit of Lord Yoshinobu. You are on the trail, right? What do you say to traveling to Edo together? I've heard Lord Yoshinobu was badly wounded. That means it's Katsukaishu calling the shots. We need to find out what he's planning. Katsu is liable to take drastic measures, like a cornered rat. I'm counting on you to make contact with him in Edo. I know you can do it. Shogun's life is not in danger, but still he must rest up for now. I just can't understand it. Why didn't we stand and fight? With my fleet, it was a battle we could have won! We were following the Shogun's orders. He did not wish for us to fight. And frankly, Enomoto, I believe he means to lay down his very life for the million citizens of Edo. And you will allow this? You are a samurai! Is it not your duty to protect your lord and master? It is indeed. And that's why I have a very important job for you. Enomoto must take His Excellency and his men to safety overseas. The people of Edo, too, should use what ships they have to escape. Escape, you say? What are you? you can't be serious. After that, we will set Edo ablaze. I have already told Chief Tatsugoro of the firefighters our plan. We will destroy anything useful to our enemies. When they are weakened, we'll have a chance to negotiate. You really mean to sacrifice Edo? If Edo were to become a battlefield, it would be utter carnage. Countless citizens would perish. No, this is the only way. The restoration is nigh, and all shall burn. The Sekihotai will see it done. Hey! Ah, someone's back in Edo, I see. <laughs> Didn't think you'd be likely to come here again. Look, this might seem sudden. But you need to leave Edo. I've got to get every man, woman, and child out of here. Once everyone's gone, we're burning it to the ground. That's the plan, at least. Unfortunately, we can't protect both the city and its people. And this is our only chance to stop the Alliance from finishing us off for good. Good, because I've made up my mind. Who am I trying to kid? Look, I can't bear the thought of burning down the town where I was born and raised. But I owe it to the troops under my command to take decisive action. At any rate, we have a few days before the Alliance descend on Edo. 
I have to prepare as best I can. The British have strong ties to the Alliance, so I'll see if they'd be willing to help us broker a peace. I've got to get Sato, the interpreter, on our side. And then, I have to cool down the Shinsengumi. They're gathering in numbers, chomping at the bit to get revenge for Kondo. If I let them take up arms, all Edo will descend into chaos. I've sent Brunei to talk sense into them, but he'll have an uphill battle. Apologies for interrupting, sir. The group calling themselves the Sekihotai have entered Edo Castle. They're headed to the inner chamber. Reports say their target is Princess Atsuko. A group of ronin formed by Sozo Sagara, who refuse to acknowledge either the Shogunate or the new administration. Ah, uh, she's a former Shogun's wife and a key figure of the Satsuma clan. Uh, I'm not sure what their plan is, but this is bound to rile up her clansmen. Her Highness's escort is undermanned and requires assistance. The Shinshogumi may have stalled the Sekio Tai, but it is only a matter of time. Good. I appreciate it. And what's more, I trust you. Get to Edo Castle as quick as you can and drive off the Sekio Tai. Nakazawa can fill in the details when you arrive. I know you just got back. Sorry you walked right into this. If we survive this, drinks are on me. What are you doing here? I see. She's an important figure to both the Shogunate and the Satsuma Choshu Alliance. There's a hidden passage close by that leads inside the castle. It'll be quicker to reach the inner chamber that way than storming in from the front. You can still make it if you hurry. Can you head straight to Princess Atsuko's chambers and get her out? Be on your guard. I'm sure our enemies have found the passage by now. Let's get started then. Let's get to it. by you once again. How should I thank you, I wonder? Now let me ask. Why were they after me? I see. By getting rid of me. A word of the Shogunate. 
They conspired to rile up Cycle and the rest. The revolutionist army would rush to arms and... Edo would be reduced to a sea of flames. I cannot allow all those fighting to make this country a better place, to keep harming one another. Right. I'll start by writing a letter to Saigo, and put down on paper how I truly feel about the state of affairs. I know he'll take my advice. Please, make sure he gets it. Hey! I've already heard the news from the Shinshogumi, but I was hoping you could fill me in on some of the details. Dependable as ever. Thank you. I'm sure Princess Atsuko herself has an even higher opinion of you. <laughs> now, we need to prepare a location for talks to take place. Saigo is saying he won't stop fighting until the Shogunate has been ground to dust. During the Forbidden Gate Rebellion, it was Saigo who decided to fight alongside the Shogunate. Whatever he might say, he knows the Shogun is a smart man. Which is why he's still vigilant. He's worried Tokugawa will find a way to commandeer the new administration. He wants His Excellency dead, which is the one thing I will never consent to. First and foremost, those advocating for war would never let it go. If the Shogun's life was in peril, it would mean a bloody fight to the bitter end. What? Is that really from her? Well, coming from Princess Atsuko, this might actually hit home. My friend, you've only gone and solved it. The main Satsuma force has set up camp in the Kanagawa post before they move on Edo. They've got British-made artillery and battleships. Saigo's bound to be there. Now, it won't be easy to get that letter to him. Can I count on you? You're holding the lives of Edo's people in your hands. I'm betting it all on you. All set? I stand at the ready!
merely a messenger from Princess Atsuko. Princess Atsuko? wiser than us all. I have read her message. Now, I must speak to Katsu. again. I see now it was wrong, what I did to the Shogun. Forgive me. So the Demon Claw Samurai is your so-called Blade Twin. I once schemed with that villain to plunge this country into civil war. After the dust had settled, I imagined that the British would take over, that I'd be put in charge and that Japan would be mine. I really believed that I'd be able to protect its beautiful culture from the great powers. But I was blind. That villain would have had Japan destroyed in a bloody war. And had that happened, all would be lost. That is why I promise to do everything in my power to protect this country from now on. Do you trust me? I see. Then I must prove my resolve by my actions. I didn't expect to find you here. So you're a friend of Mr. Sato? Koto Nakazawa. Don't tell me you've forgotten all about your work with Oroshigumi. Mr. Sato, I recall you're having some connection to the Sekihotai. Well, they appear to be up to no good. Any ideas as to what they are planning? Hmm. One thing does come to mind. The Demon Claw Samurai mentioned something about using them to blow up Kaneji Temple. Kaneji is the family temple of the Tokugawa, you see. So if you ask me, those nasty retainers are likely planning to storm Edo. You must understand. Kaneji Temple is a national treasure. What do you say? Will you help me prevent its destruction at the hands of the Sekihotai? <laughs> I shan't forget this. Now, if they have indeed begun to mobilize, we'd best make haste. Every second counts. I am heartened to know we can count on you. Let us meet at Kaneji Temple, then. You came. As expected, the temple grounds are crawling with suspicious individuals. I fear we may be too late. Indeed. Say, I may have an idea as to where they might plant their bombs. Given that the Sekihotai are seeking to provoke the Shogunate, they will surely plant any bombs in places of symbolic import. Let us go. Let's be quick. He who hesitates is lost, after all. No! This temple was one of Japan's treasures!
great. Damn the Sekihotai! Ah, I had forgotten one place. Toshoku Shrine. It's the most important shrine in Weno. Let's hurry! Get ready! Sato! That you of all people should interfere! The cover. So the third is here. Just do it. Well, it seems that our work here is done. Toshogu Shrine is safe and sound thanks to your courageous efforts. We may not have saved all of Kaneji Temple, but I expected as much. Tell me, Mr. Sato. That Yukawa fellow said this was all your plan. And indeed it was. For I was once blinded by my excessive love for this country. Indeed, culture of Japan is a marvelous thing. To think that I came so close to destroying an invaluable piece of it. I wonder, do you think I can redeem myself? Doubtless you're correct. In other words, talk is cheap. It is time for action. However, my first order of business is to safeguard against a possible retaliation. I should be safe at the manor in Takanawa. You know, I have many valuable belongings there. Paintings and scrolls and other curios I've collected from all over Japan. In fact, you should really come by some time for tea. I'm quite the connoisseur. Well, until then. Hey! Saigo has sent word back that he's ready to negotiate. In truth, I already had high hopes. But you've still outdone yourself. Princess Atsuko, Saigo, and I, we could never have achieved this. No matter how hard we tried. The fact that we've been able to come this far is all down to the bonds that you have forged. There are things one cannot accomplish alone. But a strong bond makes both parties involved stronger. The bonds you forged are a true blessing. And they're the difference between you and your old partner. I want to settle things between the Shogunate and the new administration. We need less fighting and more talking. It won't be easy. But what choice is there? But I fear the Demon Claw Samurai is bound to intervene. That's why I want you there. To end this once and for all. Right. It's do or die for the both of us tonight. By the way, some of your acquaintances are hoping for a word with you. The negotiations with Psycho aren't set to begin just yet. I'm sure you have much to discuss, so I'll leave you be. Have you met with everyone you wanted? When you're ready, head to the Satsuma base. No need to be so stiff. It's the difficult things that end up the most interesting. Never be so uptight, you can't enjoy the moment. Right then, let's go. This is no time for games or evasions. Let us be straight with each other. Naturally, I came with the same intention. So let us talk. 
First, the new administration's requests. I wanted to make a world where we could live together. Just let me die. By your hand.
Luc. Edo is a blaze. The age of the samurai draws to a close. But the samurai spirit lives on, and new horizons await. Following the talks between Kaishu Katsu and Takamori Saigo, the shogunate forces surrender Edo Castle. With that, those who dreamed of a new dawn for Japan succeed in avoiding full-blown war in Edo.
saving countless lives.